Can't be uh, bothered. What's up, Patrice O'Neill? Patrice O'Neill. Huh? What was that? <laughs> Just waking up, getting ready. What's getting ready on? for the big radio yeah. show. Just talking oh. about crazy white guy crime. I wasn't listening. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, folks. I'm, I'm listening to you. All right. <laughs> All right. Good morning. Yeah. Good morning. I didn't. I was trying to be quiet. We're just trying to do the. the uh, we're just trying to do the whole weekend wrap up thing. You got the big shooting so in Arizona. Happened? Somebody got shot. You know. Come on. <laughs> I didn't pay attention. I. I just one of those things. That, this, you know, this, How do you this, not pay attention? It's everywhere. You just go. Mm. You, you're just disgustingly not informed on it, and you just go. Yeah. It just didn't hit me. Yeah. I. I this guy, this shooting and thing, I don't even know if who died and what's going on. Then Come I on. I was a woman. Congresswoman. I was really I was really torn. The birds and shit was getting me. Yeah. Stop at the birds. We we had the, the, the ex- whole world. I don't the no, whole fucking we had, world. We had the explanation on Friday. We're moving did past you? the birds, yes. Oh, did you? Someone I, I, showed I, know, me. I wasn't fucking here. Me, That's me. why you was paying attention. Yeah, no, yeah. Fucking, I'm just busting your balls. Fucking fuck with me for paying attention <laughs> to what I want to pay attention to. <laughs> <laughs> the end of the, the no. apocalypse Hell fucking, fucking is no. interesting to me. Michu Kaku explained it perfectly on He's Friday. He's an ass when it comes and to that probably, shit. Explain shit. And probably the reason why the birds have been dying all over the world is because there's been a lot of fireworks in the last week or so for the New Year's. Birds, 50,000 crabs in fucking UK. Mm-hmm. Uh, penguins are washing up on shore. So I don't know where this is happening. It's, or It's not just fucking shitty fish in Maryland. It's, what do you it's think it the is, planet. Then? You know what it what is? What do you think it is? It's that we've been so good to these animals over the years and, and kept them so healthy that there's so many of them now that they're just fucking getting killed. Manatees used to get time. run over by speedboats all the time. Patrice. All right, fuck it. No, I no, <laughs> like, I don't, I don't Patrice, the, oh, well. logically, with the whole birds in Arkansas thing, it was one species. They were all flying together, and they got fucking startled. Something happened. Someone show me fireworks a or something. Be, Someone show me a picture of this guy. The whole planet. I don't know about Different the other animals. shit. You don't know about the other shit. That's what makes it fuck up. Hold on. That's great. Is oh, the other shit. I, I, this happens all the time. I think. I'm not sure. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Did you hear of this? Yes, that's why I'm bringing it up. There's a little pond. Ant knows where it is. It's, uh, what's the pond in Centerport? Something kill. Huh? No, what the fuck is it? A Uh, mill pond, pond, I guess. Ten koi washed up? I don't know. No. Thousands and thousands where the whole fucking neighborhood stunk like holy hell for about a week or so. It happens. The whole world all right but shit's happening let me just I'm make just saying hold on let yeah. me make my point and then you could you could okay i think this happens all the time i really do i think what is going on here is the media likes to jump on something like shark attacks <laughs> name some of the other shit they've done over the years and all of a sudden it becomes uh, the thing or, well, volcano and it becomes the thing to talk about where now all of a sudden you're saying holy fuck what the fuck's going on with the world that's my dumb two cents on this. Someone showed me a picture of the sky in fucking of Arkansas, wherever the fuck it was. It is black. Amazing how many of these fucking birds are in the sky. It's covering the whole sky. I, a few I'm of them not arguing left. Arkansas. I can go with that. It's yeah, but it's the, all over the world. It's the world. Yeah. Well, it, that's all I'm saying. I, like, I don't have a fucking... I but think, shit like that just... I think because of what happened in Arkansas, and then the media goes, oh, fuck, Crab's dead in Germany or wherever the fuck, and then they have to go with it. Yeah, I would love to talk up. to... I, all I'm saying is I would love to talk to a scientist that actually watches this shit all the time and not the media where they're going to watch it for the next week or two and then move on to the next horse shit. I, I just wonder if this type of thing happens all the time. Mm. But it wasn't reported, but now it's the hot thing to report. I, I don't I don't know if it's a hot thing to report because they're I, not reporting the world. They're reporting Arkansas, and then they report in Maryland. Because as you know, in United States is the world to most people. So yeah, I, I'm I, just saying. I don't even know if I'm just. I, that's my question. That's all. Once I seen that it's like all kind of different species and all kind of different things, and it's all kind of different birds and all kind of different shit. That's what makes me go. Oof, that's that's strange. Right. I don't have. I'm not Michu Kaku, yeah. but I'm just saying. If you know, if, if some things you don't need to be told <laughs> well, to feel a certain way, I don't, I'm just well, maybe saying. The, maybe the head crab, you know, led them all to their death. Michu Kaku said, "It the one black bird, one the leader, the got bird. a little confused and did a little header, and everyone else follows because that's how they fucking live their lives." Well, Michu Kaku's follow the leader. whole point in his life is to say fuck anything that has to do with God. So it's like <laughs> anything. I, I like this is if I wasn't so afraid of dying. I would love to see people who talk this shit living and just see what happens when it all comes. I just like to see his dumb head on fire up. running down the street <laughs> when when whatever he tries to explain is just you foolish mortals. Right, and he's right. just like fucking 
Oh God! Oh God! And God, mm. please God, but set his head on fire. Fucking crabs I, ah, and, and penguins. This is and manatees. Quite painful. I, it's strange. I have questions, but I'm, I'm just wondering if this happens all the time. That's that's the angle we need to take. Yeah. But somebody that knows this shit, a, mar a marine biologist or somebody, I don't know. The, if this happens and we didn't hear, like, at what point when the news has been less sensational? In yeah. our in our life, right. this is is the most sensational now. Yeah, there was a time when the news was actually the fucking news, right? And Walter you get on the, on the AP wire, millions of species of animals are dying all over the world. We've never heard it, even when news was news. I, we've never heard. Now they search it out. They search out things that are in common with something here, just so they could say like, oh, look at that, the birds died here. All right, let's see if anything else is happening in the, in the world. Oh, some whales washed up on shore. Let's talk about that. And then the the crabs dying, and then this fucking fish, this pond, and, and then you realize, oh, this shit was happening all the time. But now they're putting it all together in one story, and, they, and making it seem a little, you I, know, I think what happens, apocalyptic. I think what happens with the news, they need oh. one big incident to happen, and then they're like, well, let's find more shit. I mean, this homeless Ted Williams guy, right? Yes. If it wasn't for the shooting in Arizona, we were going to have a week or two of homeless fucking homeless oh, Charlie type God. stories. He's, hey, mommy. Hey, mommy. But I'm just saying. Hi, mommy. Hi, mommy. Don't make fun of my voice. Yeah. Hey. Hey, it's <laughs> Kraft macaroni and cheese. I haven't, well, I haven't seen my mother, you know. It, yeah. like, but you know what, though? That motherfucker's voice is like it's he's silk. Smooth. He's smooth. Yeah, but I, I, but I, I, I keep thinking that his breath has to be horrendous. <laughs> Not anymore. Hopefully Not anymore. Is right. He drinks scope. Scope. Not yeah, anymore is right. If you have a problem with yeah. bad breath, get scope. You know, I was reading over the weekend that nine dentists are offering their services to give them brand new teeth. No, all nine at once, probably. <laughs> right. They all want to get in there and work no. together. That guarantees a super team. His teeth have something to do with that voice. That, oh, don't my God. Don't fix your teeth. All of a sudden, he has a whistle because they fixed they his teeth off. Don't get your teeth fixed. Got one of those. Kraft macaroni and cheese. <laughs> <laughs> what would you do to my voice? <laughs> they ruined his million-dollar voice. That <laughs> motherfucker's going to be a millionaire by the end of the year. God bless him. From home, yeah, but we're thinking. What uh, happened to my filky <laughs> voice? <Right>. My <laughs> filky voice. <laughs> yeah, but but there's something not right about the guy. But the media doesn't want to pay attention no, to that part. No, no, they they tried to, to, to get him. To that. They tried to get him. They did try to get him. It was it, the, yeah, they, they the, mini, the mini faces of whatever his name yeah, was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But what and they were all misdemeanors. Yeah. But what caused that? Like, what is going on in He's this guy's insane. head? Okay, why aren't they really yeah, talking crazy. about it? Because they don't want to fuck it up. They don't want Here, to make it scary. Here's what it is. Here's what it is. Uh, Oprah offered him uh, a gig on uh, her Oprah Winfrey network. Mm -hmm. um, and probably throwing that Oprah money at him mm -hmm. and shit. And I said this before. He's crazy. This guy, homeless people aren't people that, like, for the most part, there's a small percentage that uh, lost their jobs, fell through the cracks, they're in shelters and trying to get out, and they're like, I don't know what happened, now I'm homeless, this sucks. Most of them are homeless because they're fucking crazy. They're just crazy people. I would have to think I'm... I'm three friends' couches removed from home. <laughs> yes. I would, <laughs> I would, oh, yeah. If I, I wasn't crazy. Like, right, I, right. I, you, you know, know how right. much yes. shit you got to fuck up to finally be to on the finally street? Finally be on the street. You, to be like You're right. completely on the street. You're right. You're right. And you can lose your own home, here. but then there's always like family homes you could go to and then they get so. then they get sick of you and then you go to maybe a, a friend's house for a little while then you and can then possibly you gig, maybe or... maybe you can find a little shelter in the neighborhood and then they fucking hate you and then this finally you're homeless one oprah winfrey check away from the bottle again and fucking just doing shit you can't hand a guy like that oprah winfrey money and his mother's disgusted. His you, didn't mother, see this, you didn't see the mother disgusted oh yeah, she's video? Like, she's like, like, he's going to disappoint me again. Don't disappoint me. No, no, before the mummy thing. Before, oh, really? Just her. Hi, mommy. Before he, he seen her again. Right, right. And she was just a, uh, just like he, it was almost like she was warning the world against oh, like, like, don't the wolf man. This, like, don't put this guy up on a pedestal, motherfuckers. <laughs> telling you he ain't shit. He is a piece She was saying that shit. my son ain't shit. Right. She's had and he hasn't him. seen it in twenty years. Uh, she so she cut him off. Yeah. at seventy, but he's only fifty. Yeah. she's ninety. So at seventy, her yep. her thirty year old son 
made her that sick. She and said she was popping out kids at seventy two. So that there's something was wrong there because that has, means she popped him out at forty. Yeah. Then I, I think it's she a little had a ten year old. Huh? I think. Oh. Well, he said he's fifty. Fifty two or something. Fifty. Uh, oh, whatever. Yeah, she's like ninety. Ninety three. So and as he's going, hi mommy, hi mommy. Uh, she said, oh, hi, hi. And then, and then the the second line was, please don't disappoint me again. Don't How much di- disappointment can you do if you're a 20-year-old guy <laughs> and your mother's 12,000 years old? She can't discipline you. She can't really. She's just too old to do a lot of things. Yeah. Like, I would, I don't blame it all on t- Ted Williams. It's just like. He must mm. have been just doing the drugs and And she's Robin super Christian. And... She's Lordy Jesus. I, I saw it. Lordy. She Because she said, the product, my product, my product, prodigal? Or pro- pro- prodigal son. My yeah. prodigal son has returned. So she's, the Bible quotes. Yeah, He's yeah. insane. Probably a lot to do from his crazy uh, ass crazy Christian mother. mother. But she believed in him. And, and, and he disappointed her. And he yep. was still he was still working here and there. And he went doing to school. a local radio spot here, a <laughs> yeah. local local thing here. <laughs> he, he went to Smooth Voice School. Smooth, smooth Voice School. Yes, I did. <laughs> that, that voice is ridiculous. I mean, he went to that it's school. Perfect. And, and you know they're gonna hire a don't fuck up guy. Yeah, yeah. Like he's gonna be around to go, Ted. Look, dude, he's got people around. Uh, you him think right. he's gonna have a don't fuck up guy? He's gonna have to have a don't fuck up guy because they they they're gonna. They're, this, ta- he's they're talking about. They're talking about a Super Bowl ad. He's God got, bless him. He's got some fucking guys with some really nice suits around him. He already. hit the lottery. They, and, they grabbed him yeah. up quickly, and, and they're probably getting 70% of everything he makes. And now they're doing, like, a homeless. There's videos of just everybody trying to discover the next talent. Dude, the next homeless talent Hold on. Guy. That brings me back to what I'm saying. That's what the news does. Now it's all about, wow, look at all these talented homeless people. I didn't know that there was so much talent out there yeah. with the homeless people. Yeah. It becomes the hot thing. That's why I question if... If animals are all, all all of a sudden dying, or if it's just a hot thing right now for the media, I, and I don't have the answer to that. I'm just but throwing that in the dying, discussion. Though. Yeah, but have they been dying for the last right. 20, 30 years? So you think there's a story of millions of fish that wash up on the shore that and, we have no heard one about? touches? Yes, that maybe no one even. It just didn't about. pop up. And this in this My world, thought, where you yes. can't hide. Or it did in the local news that day of in Michigan. But or the something. CNN is too busy doing something else. We really fish didn't have. Fish are just too move. important to our food. Yeah. To, for millions of fish in Maryland. There's plenty of To other wash ones up on shore sea. and it means nothing. Fish is like, they're like bugs, though. They're just everywhere. Why would you say that? Fish are everywhere. What? But what are you basing that on? Just your gut? 75% of the earth being covered with water. There is that fish. doesn't mean shit, though. That doesn't mean you, that I, shit ain't dying off. Have and, you spent time yeah, in the water? Have fish. you ever put a net in the water and see how much fish you could just scoop up in one fucking no. net? No. I'm just saying but they're everywhere. They had to staff to stop certain things. Well, because well, certain fish. Well, because those are the tasty ones. They search out the tasty I, I, ones. But salmon, there salmon is, are grown. There's a lot of horrible in homes now. Like yeah, you can't home. find I, them I, in the I, ocean. I understand, but Patrice, there's a lot of horrible-looking, horrible-tasting fish out there, and we don't Plenty eat them. them. I know. So they don't count. No, this shit that the, we might eat that washed yeah, up. Yeah, we're, we're, we're depleting the fish that tastes good. Yeah, and, the, and the shit that tastes good probably eats the shit that is washing up on. It's all fragile. Oh, there's a lot of irresponsibility on our part, <laughs> certainly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's all I'm saying is you kind of made my point sort of. Also, now it's all about the homeless guy that might have talent in your neighborhood. And all the news crews are out there fucking filming their videos, hoping that they find the next Ted Williams. But that was yanked off the uh, off the front page and out of uh, out of our TVs because of the shooting what, in Arizona. What about the guy? What about uh, what did Howard Stern do? Yeah, well, that's the dude. Yeah. Oh, geez, uh, his early picture from his, his yearbook or something. <laughs> yeah, so now something. we're upset about this. What did he do? He killed. He killed. We really don't know. Killed. Dude, I saw this guy's He's face. Crazy. I saw a shoot, and I and my head. Completely, you know, just stop. Oh, I I, ca- I tried to keep up with Omar Thornton, and no one wanted to keep up with him. Like I, I they What's just decided the, the black guy that in Connecticut. I tried to keep up with that. I tried to make it news to me. Wait, yeah. what's but, the black guy in Connecticut now? You, uh, exactly. Do you see? Do uh, uh, you fucking see the exactly? You five times you said to me, "How could you not?" Like like I'm a fucking like I was lying. Now that Omar uh, Thornton, I can you win this argument. Know. I can win this argument because this fucking thing he's was. He's white. This thing, no, 
Well, maybe. All my hold on, hold on, shot maybe. seven people in the beer oh, factory because oh, okay, right, right. he was dealing with racism. I know the beer factory. Yeah. Yeah. But that, that shit left in one day. Because they got bored with it. Well, no, the news. I'm just saying they got they, bored well, with how, like, it. And they'll why, get, this uh, is sensationalism, motherfucker. They'll get bored with this in another uh, This week. has, no, because. No, this, this has legs, actually. This has legs because it's a uh, congresswoman. It's a. Uh, it's got a lot of political overtones. They're, they're blaming, you know, CNN's blaming Fox News. Fox News is blaming CNN. I know Sarah Palin's in there somewhere. Sarah right? Palin. Just, Sarah Palin's, uh, her rhetoric might have caused yeah, this, this, some this, people are saying. They're saying the nasty right-wing rhetoric and people like Rush Limbaugh and uh, Sean Hannity and uh, the like back. are, are, are <laughs> saying things that are influencing people to go out and uh, shoot uh, these people. Uh, this guy, if you read, I, re I read his, his shit. He is a babbling lunatic. Can we find something where these guys anything. are, are, you can, you can, if you're crazy, mm. uh, you must have been having one of these guys on it to find something where if you're fucking crazy, yeah. that Sean Hannity said something that makes you want to kill somebody. I like to hear yeah, I like what this. could be misconstrued with leading people to kill. I, I want to hear know. this shit. I'd love to know what this fucking Fox News Manchurian candidate shit well, is, is all about. And this is a tough spot for us because over the years, uh, people have claimed that the type of radio show we do influences kids. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's Remember, a, it's a we do what? there's a million of these articles out there from oh. the past. To live a lifestyle that's just, you know, yeah, that uh, sex and drugs sex, and fucking violence. violence against women. Right. You know, when you talk about Whip Em Out Wednesday or something, it's uh, just promoting uh, violence against women and sexualizing them. And uh, So it's tough. Up. It's Guys tough. like tits eat me. Yeah, it's tough for us to say that uh, Sarah Palin's rhetoric caused this because, you know, we've we've oh. lived this and game And I would for fucking many, many love years. to. I would love to go, yep. Oh, I would I know, love yeah, to say yeah. Rush Limbaugh, well, it's the famous, Bill O'Reilly did it, something like that, but just, just, just yeah, play but something. It's, it's only one instance. It's the famous argument that. about uh, you know violent video games. Is this that guy, causing real violence out there? Yeah. And a lot of people will say yes, which is completely ridiculous if you just do the numbers and see how many people are actually playing this guy was video afraid games of, and how many, how many uh, incidences uh, out there we've had. He was afraid of mind control. He was, guy, yeah, yeah. That's what he, he was writing shit about mind control and... And, and different types of currency. If you ha make your own currency, you will have currency. Then you would have your own currency. Therefore, your currency would be currency, the currency. Currency like like cur don't like, even try like to make electricity sense of or money. No currency. money, money. But but you can't. You you like he's trying to make these points, but you're reading them and realizing he is babbling. Like you can't even you can't make a point out of it. It's that disjointed, well, this we, guy. Could we get Club Soda Kenny to read his ramblings? That would be good. Could we do that? Yeah. I think get I think his transcripts. I think his uh, writing should be. Uh... He's fucking crazy. He's a crazy guy that, for some reason, shot people. They don't know yet. He, he you know, they. But they, you can't blow it off for just. Cuckoo nut. I mean, yeah, you, gotta, you, can. you can't just go. He's a he's no, a nut. No, no, you, no, you got it. You got it. Something had to influence him. There had to be a drop of, of uh, logic there uh, to well, make to make something into something to go life? do that. Maybe he got because he fucking... lived up to this point and hasn't done that yet. Maybe so he did that with a purpose. Maybe it was uh, his life. He was rejected doing something. Maybe he he felt that the government was trying to control his mind. Uh, you know, oh, that's a it, fair point. It's crazy shit. It's fucking crazy shit. I mean, I mean, don't dismiss him. I'm no, no, I mean, no. don't dismiss it as crazy. I like, you know, you just can't crazy. dismiss that shit as I do he's a fucking loon. As, as fucking crazy. And his own. Because he did something very not crazy. But his own deliberate. fucking psycho mind made him do this. It, 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 it's like saying, it's like saying, oh, okay, well, now I understand. He saw a Baskin Robbins sign. And uh, thought it was the devil. Mm. It doesn't make it legitimate. It no. doesn't make. It, it, no, I'm it, not trying to legitimize. Then you can completely nonsense. just write him off as a lunatic. I don't like the fact that uh, uh, politically they're trying to turn this guy into this martyr, m martyr, that, or or uh, you know a villain that uh, was influenced by one side or the other. Because it wasn't. He's a kook. He's a nut. You're gonna see. You're gonna see another one of these. I'm telling you. This really? Is, it's it's a fucking pattern. I'm telling you. Because they just made him a rock star. Muhammad Ali said a quote. 
Well, I've heard recently it was amazing. I was over, back was before that. Oh, okay. <laughs> back before that. <laughs> back before the shakes. <laughs> I like your new look, by the way, with the winter hat. Well, it was a little cold, and it is it's shitty cold, cold outside. <laughs> it is shitty cold. My big toe is either. not having a good time right this it second. It is. Uh-oh. Um, your big toe all right? Yeah, yeah, I'm good. All right. I get right, a, warm, a warm, warm good. thing. But he goes, he just goes, if he worked on a cruise ship, and uh, this, is, this is a bomber situation, he worked on a cruise ship, and he's always been in the kitchen or whatever. And then one day they told him to come upstairs and start driving the boat. He'd be like, get the fuck out of here, because that means this boat is going to be sinking soon. <laughs> and I think somehow, man, Obama just got a hold of a fucking uh, sinking, sinking ship. Boat. <laughs> and I just think it, the kooks was ready to just be kooky. And I think his his presence in terms of being, you know, the black president and the fact that white people are – now have this excuse to now say he made me be this way. Right. And now this shit hits the fan and all the crazy white folks are just coming out everywhere, man. Well, they're, this they're, is a white people situation right now. But they're I, using, I can't it, even the, look, they're I, using it the other way around. They're they're using it to try to promote more of Obama's agenda and, and the Democrats much of it, with though. this kooky guy than they are. A lot uh, of white people exiting. It's a big exodus of Democrats. Because Democrats just seem to be the, uh, you know, the nigger lovers, and it's like the Republicans are the racists or whatever. Right, you know? right. Yep, and and yep. at this moment, it just seems like there's a lot of white folks leaving the, the, the side of change. They got fed up. And they got fed up fast. They got fed up in two black years. black people did, too, though. I mean, I've seen a lot of black people that have been totally disillusioned. They they had expectations well, that yeah, went we, you know. way beyond re- reality. Yeah, finally, <laughs> finally. <Yeah>. That's what. <laughs> but, yeah, but that's, that's what I said from day one. That in the end, a lot of people are going to be very disappointed because they're thinking their their definition of change is a lot different than what Obama could possibly do for anyone. Well, the one woman that said, uh, "This is great. I'm I don't, I'm not going to have to worry about my rent oh, and yeah. my oh, my uh, oil payments and my gas." She's very disappointed. You think at this point <laughs> she but there's, is? there's also a white guy who's who's who bought more guns, thinking it was going to be a Negroopolis, <laughs> <laughs> and he brought a bunch of guns. And now you yeah. know he's like, "Well, what happened?" I mean, if you don't understand politics, right, or understand, you know, I, like I'm into the old New World all the shit, any anyway, New World yeah, all the yeah. shit anyway. So ultimately, it's all. The politics part is all just some, some other horse shit. Uh-huh. Um, people who are just completely believe in the political system and they just go by what they told, which is a lot of fucking. There's a lot of drones, Ooh, and it's yeah. it's it's just like they don't think. And so, like when you see, you know, five years ago, six years ago, we was on the radio before talking about the TSA, and now five years later, just because a couple of people who believe in politics, mm-hmm. they get fucked over at the airport. Now it's it's a story. Now so it's people a story. Who've been, right, right. Who've been acting like like this guy. I'm not defending him, but he could be screaming something that makes you dismiss him as a fucking nutbag, and he just goes out and he just does his thing or whatever. But he might be saying something that five years later, it's official. But once once the drones start crying about it, it becomes it's too late. Yeah, it's yeah, too late. Yeah. It's already uh, out of the bag. Mm-hmm. So uh, I don't know what he's saying. I'm I don't saying, either, and I, I read it. I don't want to dismiss this guy from you know. People say harp. If you go to that harp, the H A A, the H A A R P, that thing that's causing earthquakes. It, it it's sounds controlling ridiculous. The it sounds ridiculous. Yeah. But that's the basis of every good sci-fi movie, every good horror movie, <laughs> is that there was a monster and he really yeah was it there's a creature from no the black lagoon really there was a cloverfield man. there was cloverfield no one ever there was wants a monster that just it. it's it, something has got to be real at some point you know so i'm just saying guys like this when i first learned why bread was bad to eat was from a crazy ranting homeless man in the train station <laughs> really? he's like the bread and bread and i'm listening what's wrong with bread well it, what does he say it soaks up it's it it's like a sponge that soaks things up in your stomach so all, that all the good shit yeah that and it, you, that's it supposed expands. To digest. It's like a sponge that it goes in and then it, <laughs> it expands. Like crazy but man, it shit. does. But I go well, that's that shitty Wonder Bread. I, three, <laughs> I Wonder that's bread. a sponge. I three love it too, crazy but... stories I heard real quick. The bread guy yeah. from a crazy man. Uh, 
uh, two was a woman that explained why people aren't afraid, why this country's not afraid of black people, uh, and they're afraid of Puerto Ricans and Mexicans, because oh. black people prove that we will be slaves when it comes down to it. So <laughs> shit is the fan. We will be you slaves. Al- you already have it uh, where, where you will be slaves because you have been. We have been. Oh, okay. So that's why no one really <laughs> counts us, and, they, ah, and Mexicans ah, and Puerto ah. Ricans, they've never been slaves. Right, So right. it's like, oh, they're dangerous. And then the third one was wa- was space travel. Was this guy, I forgot, but it was a guy who said that space people know how to manipulate the magnetic poles of each planet. So they, they know how to... That's a homeless guy? A homeless space guy. Dr. Mag- Dr. Michu cocky in his pants. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm just saying, I, I, I remember cocky. those things, and these people are supposed to be fucking crazy. Yeah. yeah I'm just saying. You know, <laughs> We should take a break. I don't know. That's fucking We're going to try to figure out why uh, the animals are dying. Someone, they couldn't uh, stick around. They said, there's pockets of poison all over the fucking place. And if all right, that sounds good. If a school of fish uh, happens to come upon that little pocket of pocket poison. Pocket of poison? Might sounds kill. good to me. I'm just, I don't know. I'm just, that's conjecture. I don't so, know. Tell me something that going to make me shut the fuck up. <laughs> I don't you know. You just made up your, some shit, sir, who, or madam? Yeah, I would like to get some kind of expert that kind of knows how this shit works. It just says and it. I'm certainly not going to listen to the stupid media and what they think. Right. Mm-hmm. What else we got? Uh, football, movies. Pockets of poison. I just want to say Robert De Niro. What happened to him? I'm not sure yet. What? I'm just not sure yet. Got another black woman About pregnant? One. All I'm saying is Did Robert De Niro. Robert De Niro. Just in case. I want, uh, just in case. I want all responsible gun owners to uh, go to the NRA website and uh, read up on all your laws and... and uh, and see if maybe that's uh, something you want to do to defend your Second Amendment right. Oh, they are good the, luck to you. They are the people oh, that uh, Someone's are there on the other side. In the very near future. They'll be, a, they'll be erasing that, that Second Amendment in a couple of is That's I'm on the just, way out. No, I'm just never. saying. That'll be gone. No way. You people, don't think so? Not, not at all. Fair people, enough. People love their no. guns. <laughs> yeah, but oh, more importantly, I take it from my dead cold. Yeah, from my, my cold yeah, dead end. Yeah, more importantly, I think Ant needs a new suit for a banquet that's going up. Oh, you think that's it? Uh, yeah, that was. I might be going. That was a little. That was a right little plug hole. I'm right a lifer there. now. I, I got my right, lifetime. Good for you. My lifetime membership. Enjoy. So you don't have to pay anymore. Um, no, I, now I pay through contributions. When I get, to, I get some. I got a lot of mail from uh, the NRA, and uh, it says, "Hey, you know, we need a couple of bucks. We're fighting this." And I read all the legislation. You no know big mamas in your mailbox to too. She's looking in that mailbox. Yeah, yeah. She's looking. She making. She's seeing. She's seeing what Mister Kumia do. See what I'm doing in there? Oh uh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Big I mama. Get, big mama I, watches I, your I, mailbox, I, my friend. I do. She knows what's going. She knows what's going on. I'll write a check and I'll be like, "All right, motherfuckers, I am." Supporting this because I have read it. I don't like the legislation that's uh, trying to be passed. Mm-hmm. They got to fight it. I'm willing to give a few bucks. I like white people that's with their rights. I right. don't, don't love my rights. We're gonna, white uh, rights. I only like a few laugh. of them. As soon we're gonna, as you lose it. We're going to continue with. Uh, no, y'all make me laugh. I only like we're a few gonna, of them. Uh, we're going to continue with Big Mama Prods on Twitter. Patrice O'Neill. Lots oh, when I said Big Mom, you know what I meant? Huh. Napolitaniano. I should have said Big yeah, Sis. Yeah, yeah, big yeah. Big Sis. I thought he was She's the one. They call her Big Sis and Big Fucking. She's always in everyone's shit. She's just peeking around at everyone's shit. You and your porn guns and young bitches. Ah, oh, forget uh, about it. They're just waiting. All right, we'll be back. I nice. miss Rich. I haven't seen him in a I long time. I haven't done this we've with Patrice. We've been arguing uh, the Rich Voss New Year's Eve thing that happened to him. Yeah. Well, tell the people out there. What happened? Yeah. Uh, you had a gig I at Mohegan Sun, right? Yeah, I get off stage, and Bonnie's uh, going down on, on the booker in the dressing room. <laughs> <laughs> and I wanted the money, so I'm not going to say, hey, stop. Uh, it might as well have been that. Huh? <laughs> no, that would have been exciting. You were uh, you were booked at a casino? Yeah, I was booked. And uh, and they told you at the last minute that uh, you're going to have to stay up the street. Because they the need the room because New Year's Eve is a very hot night. And we I, all and know. We already, understand I, that part of that. I already, it was already sold out. Right. I already sold out. So you said, okay, and you you took a shitty room up the street instead of having well, a no, nice room, room in the casino. Whoa, 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 whoa. Don't, the room wasn't shitty, but it was up the street. The yeah. shitty part was it was up that's the street. Shitty. It, that's shitty. Yeah. That's shitty. The room Cause, cause, at the casino is shitty. Like, yeah. Uh, <laughs> like, but, how can the room but not in the casino not be shitty? At least you're in the casino, yes. and you wake up, and you don't have to put a winter coat on to get in a fucking cold car to go do your gig. I, it, which, and, and, if it was summer, who and cares? And drive the host. 
<laughs> and, uh, right. uh, yeah. You've been, you've been in the business the way too long to no. deal with that shit. I would say, guess what? You don't get me a room in the casino. I'm out. I do, see. I. Do and Patrice times. would do they, that yeah, but exact thing. You know, thing. as a businessman, at certain times you can make certain calls, and certain times you can't. Dude, I, I could. I have a feeling agent. you do this a lot, though. No, I feel. Thank you, Patrice. What? He's nodding. I feel like you compromise a lot. Yeah, right. I do compromise because I have to compromise when you're in my position. When you have. Three kids. Sometimes I say no. Fuck. Rich, say, you're a really fuck funny guy. What's that? You're a funny guy. Oh, God, did I kill this weekend. You were booked at a casino. Mm-hmm. If you told them last minute, I'm not doing a gig unless you find me a nice fucking warm room in the casino, they're going to find you a room. Here's the difference. I sold 350 seats out. At that same casino, Chelsea Handler sold 9,000 tickets. Well, right? she, well she's so, hot. Really yeah, hot. 9,000 in the arena. She's, a major, she's, a, she's the face of an entire network. Right? I know. She's, she's extremely hot right now, and, and it doesn't hurt that she's funny. Yeah, I'm not so, going to go with the good so looking don't compare, thing. That I, don't, doesn't, I don't see the, the fucking see, good looking thing. You shouldn't qualify the respect you have for yourself with, with, with where you think you are in the business. Don't let people fucking, you know, put, put a label on you, though. Don't put a label. Listen. You didn't need that money Brad was paying you. Oh, how, wait, really? really? Because I know how much Brad pays. That that money can never change your life on any level. You got that. Will you quit talking like Malcolm X? That fucking <laughs> money. All right, then. Yes, that money. <laughs> that, that money. All right, I'll stop okay. talking like right, a motherfucker, right, like right, Malcolm right. X that's trying to help you to stop this ridiculous nonsense. Yeah, Patrice okay. knows more than I, obviously. I'm not in that business. But Brad seems... Axelrod is not paying you enough to not say no to him. Right. It's, that's it. It seems ridiculous that you go, okay, I'll take a room up the street. Well, no Here's offense. I like, I like the... Brad, but he's a one-nighter guy. You're right. He's yeah. not. A, it's not a relationship that should make you go... Look, you should say fucks, man. Are you serious? I'm already taking, I'm taking blows to the gut. <laughs> yeah, Call the fight, it. nigga. It's just like stay home and Here's hug your daughter. Hug, hug her today. You, I, stop I, using her tuition as an. Ex- <laughs> stop <laughs> using Brad's two dollars and seventy cent gig, and then trying to pimp language by saying I'm gonna pay my daughter's well, tuition. First of all, I, that's bullshit. No, Yankee, it's not bullshit. Yeah, you know, what, first of all, Yank your daughter's you, out of college too. It's a waste of time. I, I, who I, are you telling? Who you telling? I, I, I didn't go to school. Look how good things I've, are going I've, for me. I've oh, changed well. my opinion on college big time in the last year. Or it's two. ridiculous. With this fucking with this fucking debt they're giving these kids. And they they're, work for the school. They're a hundred, hun, easy hundred thousand yeah. in debt without a job when they get out, they and then they're work working the at the local fucking, fucking pizza and joint. The, and the only way they're going to get work is if they know somebody or somebody it's, knows somebody. It's a crock of shit. And where the game is now, you need a fucking degree to work for fucking Burger King. Like yeah, it's yeah, a, yeah. you need something to. They're all make in you, on it. Everybody needs a job. They're all in on it. Then. You see, fuck. What's the thing? Capitalism, a love story. There yeah, was yeah. one mm. part I I keep bumping into all the time is how pilots. Get paid jack shit. We mean, they they mean. give blood to people that that crash in Buffalo. Mm-hmm. They were they had them on the black box talking about not making money. Yeah, yeah. They were one bitch less... made six thousand, sixteen thousand. Yeah, I was gonna year. say they make less yeah. than twenty thousand a fly. Giving yeah. blood. Give those and fucking guys hundred thousand all day long. And they have all to get a long. second job just to pay their bills. Some tired motherfucker got me up thirty five thousand feet. Right. It's it's insane, man, what they doing to people. Uh, so uh, the only thing you got left really is to stay home and enjoy the shit that's gonna be taken from you soon. <laughs> <laughs> you got a nice we're TV. We're, we're staying. You got a nice TV at home? I got a good God, TV. Damn. I my fireplace. I found a place to get firewood. All right, that's all you need. Tons fire. Of firewood. You need a fireplace uh, and a nice TV. You're set. Uh, and, and and yank your fucking daughters out of college. We stayed last night, and I. Can you please I, I, not chew and, and uh, talk at the same time. We stayed last night. I know we all did. At it, a hotel. For some reason, when you do it, it's really fucking. Because <laughs> it's, exactly. it's already a awful. problem when his mouth is completely clear. <laughs> yeah, thank you, Patrice. Of debris. Nigga, just finish. <laughs> hey, stop looking me up and down. Just fucking. <laughs> just stop. It. It a while. Just stop doing. looking me up and down. I didn't see you are. Patrice looks I like an old one. school burglar today or something. I think got some tools. Your back pocket. I'm like a cross <laughs> on 110th Street. Well, I'm in a worse spot than Voss, but I ain't gonna take that gig from Brad. No, I'm in a worse spot I'll than Brad. I'll you up, nigga. Right. I'm robbing a car. <laughs> <laughs> There's banks up the street. Fuck it. Three meals a day. I'll take that. What, what were you saying, Rich? I'm sorry. We're staying in a hotel. It's so clear. Now I. 
sometimes you don't know who to tip and where to tip. The oh, dude comes boy. to my room. It's crazy. He comes to my room, knocks on the door t- to tell me well, he's my butler. Okay. Wow, right? you're saying do a nice I, joint. Do I tip him for telling me he's yeah. my butler? Uh yeah, you throw him money, especially if you're going to use him for something. Well, don't you do that at the end when you're checking out? No, no, no. Well, because it's different you want, people. Here's what it is. If you want good service, you tip him at the beginning. If you want shitty service, then you tip him at the end. But when I use him, a butler, what he to do my? Well, I don't, that's just it. Then, then you yeah. know, what do you give your butler when you, you go to throw him a few? Huh? Right away. Right away, I peel off a hundred the second. He walks in the room. Now, is he is he blowing you the whole time you're there for a hundred dollar tip? Uh, he knows he's getting more. Like, cause then every time he brings something, you throw him a little more extra. Well, you gave a you gave a hundred right? just to walk See in the door, just out to just just, boom. just to be like hi. Well, cause you're, you're a high roll here. Right, but that's yeah. casino stuff, though. What's yeah. that? That's casino stuff. That's the casino. Guy. Isn't that what he's talking about? No, no. I, I think he, New York. I think Rich is just butler. talking basic shit. Have, what butler? I've never been to a hotel in New York with a butler. Well, you haven't been to the one we're staying at. Is it oh, the same shit. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> this hotel. Why do you have such a nice hotel? We you usually were, on the cheap. A, we did a benefit, and and they we, set you up with a nice no, hotel. Not only that, we did a portrait, which Bonnie and the, a Bonnie. What? It's like a six thousand dollar package. You do this portrait in, in the studio downstairs, and you know, and me, Bonnie, and the baby are doing this portrait. And it's something we would never do. You know, like, then they want to come to your house and look at what wall to put it on and what colors what and all that. You, you know, oh, look Jesus. at this. What's going on? It's, 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 wait, was sorry. it a painting? I don't even know what yes. the fuck is going. How do you how are you following this? They're painting. I got it. Hold on, hold on. They're painting. Can you paint- explain to me? I got I'm it. He's at a really nice hotel because he did a benefit and. Part of the package is they do a portrait. So him, Bonnie, and his uh, little girl are getting painted. No, they take the picture and they like paint Scarface? over it, and they, and they make it look over. like a painting. Like, yeah, like, like, a, like a painting. Oh, it's a fucking. And then you get five thousand dollars. You got to see this thing. And then you're gonna hang it no. in your house somewhere. Yeah, but they want to come to your do. house. What they do it's is they tracing take, paper. No, they take no, the picture, right. yeah, and then they digitally fucking Photoshop it to look like a painting. No, no, you got to see it. It's I'm done not, in two seconds. Have they pull and out some they paint? pull it out of a listen, giant printer? In, it, listen, in your fucking Guido, Guido Villa at home Photo on Long Villa. Island, <laughs> that's what you My might have. Guido out. Villa. <laughs> I would have to say. Rich. I would have to say, <laughs> spectacular home. There's only one Guido thing in his house. What, the statue without the arms? <laughs> no. <laughs> That's pretty, I like that because I, I feel it one. might be real. <laughs> if it had arms and it was peeing, I, that yeah. would bother me. <laughs> you, have a, you have a black, shiny table in there that, uh, that I would get rid of. But a is black, that's the only shiny green, table. Like a, uh, like a Formica. That? Really? Where is that? In the dining room when you walk into the right. It's like a. He doesn't even know what he has in this house. From Micah. Oh, room. the one in the dining room. Yeah, you probably never see it. In the dining room? Yes. Yeah. Is that for Micah? Wait, wait. Is, is it right when you walk in the front room? To the to right. right. To the right. Yeah, that's supposed to be something for, you know, we keep in the dining room for dishes. What do they call that thing? <laughs> Why are you there? Uh, I don't for have dishes. dishes. <laughs> it's called fill up the space with yeah. stuff. How many times a year does Danny make you dinner? That you need dishes. <laughs> you got hey, Danny you got, makes a good fucking beer can chicken. Wait, you got the you got the fancy plates? No, it's in just a wall a, unit. It's that thing that goes Fuck in that there. Fuck that China shit. And and you put the fucking china in it. It's called a hutch. I was looking for a hutch every, with I, was china. Looking, I was looking for everything I could to hate about your house. Hey. I was so jealous, but it's just a nice it's really nice. Yeah, I, I, I I love it. It's one of those things where it's yeah. like ah, you have nobody. Other. I'm gonna start coming over. I but, say you should come on over. Oh, there goes but your rich. property value. Rich, <laughs> why was the portrait? Why? Pa- that was racist, wasn't it? Yeah, but exactly. Exactly. Rich, why was the portrait part of the package? I still don't get that part of it. Because they don't pay you, so they have somebody <laughs> digitally put you on a piece of paper. To that was the was thing. The, when you spend for this portrait, they're five to ten. Why would you do that? When, no one needs a portrait. And no one buys house. that portrait. Who buys that except for fucking... Rick people that have, the, like, big... The, the, the Slippingtons. You... <laughs> yeah, <you're right. laughs> fucking... I know no that. one buys those. Why are you, why are you being... doing his fucking white trans Canadian uh, wife? You're being shady. Why are you... Why did you... Why are you part of this package deal? 
when we did the benefit in in Miami for the blind, we did a benefit at the Rich Carlton down there. Right, should have done one for the days. deaf. <laughs> I did. Uh, <laughs> he's on fire now. Oh, <laughs> Monday a... morning, he got some rest this weekend. <laughs> kind so of funny. when did you do it? Funny, Rich. We did the fuck. Uh, we did the benefit. I don't know, a couple of weeks ago, and then you know we bid on the uh, we bid on the on the you know the stage to read us and stuff and. You know, we, uh, uh, you're up to some shady shit. What's going on? Yeah, he, the, I don't even know what's going on. There's some know. shady shit. Going. Well, Rich is always wheeling and dealing. And you're wheeling and dealing. He what has the, to stop. Listen, something's going on. You, Rich, if you don't make it, it's discouraging mean, to if. me. Like I, I need Rich to make it to let me know that I can. That like there's a chance. I don't want to see this 57 year old man still trying to be like relevant the same way thing. he was 20 years ago. He comes in with these hats, and he comes in dressed like, like he's getting ready to punch raw meat, like he's training for something, and he's he's just he makes me sick with this with this scamming. I can't not do a Brad Axelrod attitude. Like, hey, you don't know what it's like. I do know what the fuck is like. No, you don't. Yeah, what are you talking about? Oh, you got it easy, man. Again, why? Why? You have a, a, a beautiful girl. You don't have responsibilities. She's working, right? Is your girlfriend working? Yeah. All right. Mine isn't. Uh, why she's is working it, on why a movie. Why isn't fucking Bonnie Because she's working on a movie, editing And Rich, nonstop. why aren't you saying your wife's beautiful? She's very beautiful. Well, you she said uh, Patrice has a beautiful woman, yeah, but you have a beautiful woman. Bonnie. Yeah, Bonnie's yeah. gorgeous. Yeah, that is and the... Bonnie can make money anytime yeah, she Bonnie, wants. She has more credits than Rich. <laughs> she does. Like, better credits. She has a fucking special <laughs> on got, HBO. I got... fuck... You don't have the uh, one. What do you mean? HBO's oh, the special. Uh, right in now, your opinion. Right now, an hour Comedy Central specials are the special. They hand those out. Mailman has a special. Specials aren't special anymore. Yes, no. they are. They if are. it's on HBO, it is. That's his What's point. It? On Comedy yeah. Central, they hand those right, that shit out. I did out. HBO. Yeah. I did it way before any of you guys. Yeah, you did it the first white guy. But it was I a seven-second spot. Bonnie no, did a special. She yeah, has she more credits. All right, so she has so why don't you fucking stay home? I would love and to. Work and edit and let and her can, work. She can make more money. She's probably famous in Canada. Let her fucking go there for three months and Listen, goddamn work. Bonnie isn't famous on her farm, okay? <laughs> All right. Farm. And no one, I can see what he did. He yeah. fucking, it's he funny, cannot though. stand. It's funny, though. And I probably would do the same no, thing. If no, my girl was a comic and had better credentials, yeah, I yeah. would probably try to poison her mind and think yeah. she should quit. What are that you would, kidding me? I would fill her full of hot fucking stuff. He's got to put her down credit. all the time. Ca career, career like, and then love juice, plug her full of hot lead, walk around ah, with a kid, ah, get ah, tired, ah. and then fucking <laughs> take Brad Axelrod fucking meetings to to I, hey, I get Bob, what he did I get Bob, what he did. If you see the uh, what she's doing with, this, make, with and, this movie and convince her she's, that yeah. five thousand dollars shitty paintings are fucking it's something great. What you think that we're hanging that up? We're not, yes, we're you not, are. I Rich. guarantee we don't hang it up. I'm gonna tell you, you why you're gonna, gonna hang it up, huh? Exactly because you For told when the we story. Get a bigger place, when we get a bigger, nicer place, you don't hang it up in a townhouse. How are you gonna you get just, a bigger, nicer place? What's the plan? What's the plan? We're making a movie right now that I got thirty-three thousand dollars into already. Okay, that's the plan. All right? You, know, right? you really, really shouldn't spread. spread. <laughs> you, know, you shouldn't say that you got thirty-three thousand dollars. Right? It's and about You should 35. just say I got a movie <laughs> and, and you, in and the works. I'm gonna take all and you don't need a portrait to What's help that? Rich. Yeah. Anything I have, I'm helping Rich. Fuck, fuck it. I'm you done with I, my You don't career. even call me back. What are you talking about? Because <laughs> I don't want to be sadder than I am. <laughs> I'm happy. I'm going to play will golf you, in a couple weeks. Oh, and I just will you like, stop with I'm the not, fucking I'm, life is a... Well, stop trying to whole, see the best in life. You You're not a glasses <laughs> half full guy, asshole. I, I I've known you for years. I am not. <laughs> stop trying to make deals with God because you see it all falling <laughs> to listen, pieces. Listen, I, listen. I have my health. I think I haven't had an MRI in a while. <laughs> I think that's that's good. Actually, that's a great way to go through life. Uh, you know, I'm with you. What else? Are you I think I'm healthy. Do? You know, you know this business. There's ups, there's downs, there's good time. You know, you know the deal. There was a time me and Patrice were walking down the street, and I looked at him. I go, I have not absolutely anything going on in my career. And he he says, me too. Do you remember how? And then two years later, we're both doing great. 
now, okay, things have fallen a little. They go up and down. You know, it's the it's the stock market. Listen, That's what our I'm saying. parallel. I'm just <laughs> trying to make <laughs> you really feel better. China. No, they're not. Throw you two in the same boat. How, well, you don't Ross think... is on drugs. <laughs> you see his eyes? You don't... Ross listen. is on fucking methamphetamines. <laughs> Ross has a drug problem, and that's why he's fucking working so fucking if hard, I had a, Really? If I had a drug problem, do you really think I'd be wearing this? this that's your been last sold. thing you're going to sell. Really? No, <laughs> that's the last thing I'm going to sell. He <laughs> <laughs> pointed to his ass. His fucking ass. Fucking rich. <laughs> <laughs> fucking rich. <laughs> <laughs> nah, fuck All right, I don't know. He's up to some shady shit. That's He's up to something. Voss is up to something. <laughs> I, I, I've known him long enough to know he loves to wheel and deal. He's like Al Pacino <laughs> and in <laughs> in a. Uh, and uh, 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 Johnny Donny Brasco. Oh, Donny Brasco. He's just he's never he's just up to something he, all the he's, time. He's the king of bartering. He knows how to barter anywhere. this motherfucker. God, he's up to something. <laughs> you trade services for all sorts of weird shit. It's fun, man. A portrait, though. Ugh. I I know. Hey, listen, you? we wanted just the room. We didn't want the portrait. portrait. That has to look so gaudy. Oh, just, just like maybe a nice picture yeah. of the family. I understand that, but when it gets to a portrait, uh, he probably picks uh, a bad frame. A classic. Yeah, yeah. I mean, they want to come sell me a frame. I can get a frame on oh, Craigslist, God. man. They're going to come. They want to sell me the frame. You know, that's going to be a thousand dollars. What are you kidding me? Nice frame, huh? I get a frame. I get frames why everywhere, you man. You go to a garage, I'll get a frame. frame. I, did you hear what he said? What? Yeah. Why did you just hear? Doing? Did you hear what he just said? Get one at a garage. You can go so. to a garage. Like yeah. th this get is a frame. It's the. Point. I wouldn't even know how to go to a garage. And you know what? It's, <laughs> he does though. It's too well, late. Obviously, not by what you're wearing. <laughs> it doesn't matter what I'm wearing. Right no, we're on radio. It's too late. Okay, thank it's you. Too fucking late for him to change too. Like if what if if somebody cuffed him, like you know, if somebody just. Said, "Fuck it, I'm I'm here." And one of these guys, like you know, like Louis or or, or Colin, says, "Fuck it, I'm cuffing Rich." It, they won't be able to uplift him. Like Rich is what he is. He's man. just as no. He's not. No gonna, he's not going to take class pointers. Like he's not going to do it. It's the proverbial old dog. He's going to go to a fucking a garage push. sale. <laughs> So he's gonna buy that uh -huh. shitty BMW he yeah, said, yeah. that he well, tried to pass off no. as, as sexy, he, and I'm just like, this shit is. He said, he said Porsche. Now explain the Porsche you got. Well, I got a, a Porsche Boxster. What are you I talking know about? What year? He has. Well, I bought it two. It was two years old when I bought it. You know what he has? What kind of Porsche he has? And I mean, this is my nigga. I love Ross. Yeah. <laughs> he has the the highest level Toyota <laughs> yeah. Porsche. So it's the right, lowest right, right. level Porsche Listen, the lowest level or Porsche. the highest level Toyota. Right. That's the Get same the car. highest level Toyota. Right. Why for, are you getting this shitty for, Porsche? It's not, are you crazy? That you can't even drive your friends in. It's a selfish car. That's why I got it. You're not a fan of the selfish car. It's a selfish car. I got a truck. If you in trouble, man, Patrice, come get us. Right. Get Me the whole and my family. whole family are stuck. Right. Voss, come help. Yeah, I can't. An SUV my too? shitty selfish car. You have a selfish SUV, you. man. <laughs> I, have my, I know what kind of car you got, man. I got an SUV. It's a selfish. BMW. I love the concept of the selfish car. It's just, I love it, man. It's just a car that's not, he's not, he's not, you don't have well, you any don't friends. Think, you don't think if I got tons of money, I wouldn't go out and blow it and buy shit? Of course I would. I What little money I do get, I go out and buy dumb shit. I would get, if I had money, I'd get the nicer Porsche, okay? But you know what? I could only have gotten that one at the time, okay? Voss likes having things. Yeah, damn, you're right. We don't like having things, but you like having things. Yeah, it's just You fun. go a little too far with having things. I know. I got... Like, like he knows. He's bullshit. You could go buy a pair of sneakers, and that fills the emptiness right here, okay? He he goes out and buys shit because he's lonely and depressed, all right? All right? These sneakers, I didn't need them, but they're pro kids. They're, you know... And it was twenty nine bucks on some <laughs> website, and when it's I always, bought them, it's always it's from a website. Always, you got to go to this like, new website. It's called <laughs> Everything's on Sale, like high end shit. It's okay? always a website. So you buy something, you feel good for it's, a few moments, and then you realize. Let me see your pro cats. Oh, these are they're leather. These ones are leather. Who gives a fuck? Who gives a fuck? Yes, I did at the moment when I bought I, it. I understand that. Okay, it's... I got you know you might have a set of golf clubs. I have three because I like to sit online and buy shit. 
That's <laughs> what I do. I, I, buying shit is fun. It's fun. And then when it comes to your house, you're all like, Wait, oh. Yeah, you know you got a package yeah, coming. Yeah, <laughs> you know? yeah. Open that yeah, thing up. And you've, you're like, never, you've never been to Rich Ross's house. He's, he's got weird shit in his house. I've heard his house is like a museum. <laughs> yeah, and I think you like those like home old furniture <laughs> and shit. So is my act. Yeah. <laughs> Rich, do you, uh, you watch the home shopping shows on TV? Does that get you off a little bit? What do you mean? The ones where they fix stuff up? No, like they're selling. This. No, not that, that shit. That's that's bullshit. All that's right. all fake. So you're not that far in. No, I wouldn't buy that shit. I just like going online and you know, like what the fuck? You know, I got on my credit card. I have enough points to get something. I just don't know what I'm going to get when I'm going to get it, but I know I'm getting something. I don't even know how many points I got. <laughs> I do. I know how many I got. I'm going himself. on twenty six thousand points, and that's a new putter. Do I don't we, need a new putter. How do we find out how many points it? we got? Twenty six thousand. I'll, I'll find out right now. How I many I points have, you have? I think yeah, I how have do you do it? Like half a million points on each card. How do you do it? I'll, I'll do it right now. I don't. You got to go to your. Uh, yeah, you got to go to your Amex you, online yeah. thing. I don't know how to do that. Well, yes, because you got that kind of money. You have people. I've had a American Express card for what does it say? Member since oh one. All right, so ten oh, years. You, I've never used any. I don't points. know if they I had no points idea. back then, did they? You probably got a lot of points. No clue. I don't know. I don't How even know where you look do for you the ever points. Use that thing. You have the cleanest. Asshole. It looks like it hasn't been through one they, machine. Asshole! They give give you a new one every once in a while. This one just came in. Oh, it did. Yes, I fucking use my credit card. Oh, look at that! Hurt my credit did that hurt you opening your wallet just now? <laughs> wow, a joke from seven years ago. <laughs> it doesn't matter. It's a callback. <laughs> right, I, I spend a little more now. Are you a frugal gentleman? Though? Not as not as bad as I used to be, but yeah, certainly I, I've been caught being pretty frugal over the years. <laughs> caught, caught being not his frugal. wedding though. Yeah, that, there wedding, you go. that was some real shit. I, the, your band at your wedding cost more than my house. <laughs> you really did have a fucking Ben Stiller movie wedding. <laughs> <laughs> that was unbelievable. His, his cocktail party was just ridiculous. I well, thought that was the whole wedding. Well, that was it was all fun until we got dropped from all those markets as I was planning that. And then I had to go to the wedding planner and say, slow the fuck down. It got scary. Wedding uh, planner? We had Bonnie's aunt. <laughs> put, us, put us in a hotel with a buffalo. Always, <laughs> always. I feel so bad for my friend, Rich. I just feel bad. He's, he's, I'm smiling, man. I feel bad. It's a for fake all smile, us. Rich. We all I feel bad that. for our whole crew. <laughs> the whole crew. Our whole crew. The whole bunch of you. A whole bunch. A whole right. bunch. Why don't we? Uh, why don't we break Let's and take a break. get into some shit? Let's take a long you, you watch break. Uh, football long, over the weekend, Rich? Break. Some of it. Yeah, a little. You, you see I, any movies lately? Yeah. We'll do some movies and we'll do some sports oh, now. So I'll great. tell you my best I movie. Love tweet on that. What? You no, want... after the break, you'll tell oh, us okay. your favorite I can This is called a teaser. All right, what is the tease? Uh, fucking Winner's Bone. I just gave away the movie. That's not a tease. Oh, I was going to tell him how good it was. <laughs> <laughs> and then he said, now I'm talking to him. Patrice O'Neill, Rich Voss. <laughs> Where's Rich going to be? Because Patrice has retired officially. He's so lucky. But Rich is still on the road. Where are you going to be, Rich? This weekend, catch a rising star? Yeah, Providence. Providence, Rhode Island, all right. Yeah. And, and then uh, next week, yeah, in Harrisburg at the Comedy Zone. The Comedy Zone. The comedy Zone. You guys Harrisburg. Watch, you guys watch the football? Yeah. How I enjoy it. Patrice is a big uh, Pats fan, right? Uh, yes. <sighs> I am a Patriots fan. My Jets squeaked one out. They over the certainly Colts. did. They, they certainly did. I would love to be an uh, Uber Jets fan here, but I'm uh, certainly worried, obviously, going I mean, up to Foxborough. You know, they're going to lose to the to the great uh, Patriots mm. and Tom Brady's fabulousness, and they're going to fucking beat the Jets. I mean, I don't want to argue with you about it. Not you, bad. but the Jets fans. It's just going to happen. Well, I'm a little worried. We'll see what happens. They're just better. Bill Belichick's just better than Rex Ryan. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He's an asshole. I was reading somewhere. <laughs> Belichick's just an asshole. And I think asshole. I, I think half his team hates him, too. Well. I get that the, feeling like no one likes this guy, even of, his own players. One of the guys said, uh, they asked no him idea, a question right. like, so how do you, how you, how you going to, how you feel about, you know, right. this player? He goes. Feel. He, I don't know. He said, he said, Belichick didn't tell me what to feel yet for these days. Yeah. That's just like, that's how he got it. Do you guys bet on, you don't bet at all on the game? I mean. I probably should. I, I, I enjoy a little uh, little sports bet every once in a while, but I haven't done it in so many years. You put on a Jets uh, shirt on Sunday. No, no, Are you I'm one not. of those kind of guys? If you want me to say yes, so you can beat me up. Fine, no, no, I'm not trying. I'm not I, a bad no, guy. I, I've never been like Jersey guy. Yeah, yeah never. Like, Patriots have been dropping 45 points. On I right understand up. that. What are they going to do? 
And Sanchez has, stop these and Sanchez <laughs> has a shoulder that might be a little fucking sore these right now. These amazing little white guys. that just, <laughs> The Patriots have found a way to go back to... The early 30s <laughs> old football. school. Strap it on leather helmets. Yeah. <laughs> Five foot, ten inch. <laughs> they all look like white boys who Unitas. fucking run. <laughs> and they, they got one of the one of the Jets throwaways uh, is on that team, and he's a fucking animal. Yeah. He, they have a, a guy that they got rid of before they got Randy Moss, and he's back to like he's a, a number one receiver. And they got these two little white slot receivers, and they got two young tight ends, and Brady just finds them, and they catch the ball. That's it. I guess that's all you need. <laughs> they are so basic. And yeah. it's it's despicably basic. And the Saints are out already. They oh, lose to the seven and nine Seahawks. How are you how are you allowed to be in the playoffs when you're a, a sub five hundred team? Hey, I don't man, get that's that. the motherfucking rules. And this guy Do you Marshawn, agree with that? Marshawn Lynch. Right. Had the greatest run I ever seen in a playoff game. I never seen a run like that. The sixty-seven that was yarder was it? Brutal. That, I never even seen yeah, no shit ridiculous. like that. I'm telling you, the the stiff arm he gave that guy, he threw him into the end zone. He threw that guy away. It was un fucking believable. Mm -hmm. But they, they, the Saints had their run. They, this is the thing, people. And this, I say this to Patriots fans: Don't forget you stunk. <laughs> How bad the Patriots stunk. For a long for time. their entire, I mean, we had John Hanna, who was one of the baddest motherfuckers that ever played. He never won a fucking thing, but he's a beast. And and, and, and Steve Grogan, it was some great Mosey to Tupu, some great players. But the Patriots stunk, went to a Super Bowl in 85 and got destroyed huh. by the greatest football team I've ever seen in my lifetime, Ooh. which was the Bears. The Bears. The fucking 85 Bears yeah. was the greatest football team I've ever seen in my life. No one's better. You don't know this, Rich. 85 is a big year for the Bears. Holy the shit. The Super Bowl shuffle. That came uh, out of yeah. uh, right? They were so good. You with forget the that they were with like the fridge and Jimmy McMahon. 25 years later. I, yeah. And then they, we you do went to know a Super you Bowl lost a lot of money on that game. <laughs> I don't remember. I, I, <laughs> we went to a Super Bowl in '96 when, uh, when when Tuna and God bless Tuna because I think that's when the Patriots started becoming something, a something. Because he said, first of all, let's get rid of this stupid uh, little man. I had the on little side man the on the helmet. It was so stupid. And then he, he put the little sleek thing, and they went to the Super Bowl in '96, lost to the Green Bay Packers, and then. And then somehow, and then Drew, the next year he was gone. He was that was the year he was negotiating as as he's getting ready for the Super Bowl, right? His next contract with uh, what well, because he he didn't want he want he said he only wanted to. That's when he said, "I don't want to. Um, if you're gonna let me run the store, you should let me buy the groceries, whatever right, the fuck. Right. Cook he, the meal and buy the groceries." But he was pissed off going into a Super Bowl, which certainly didn't help. Yeah, because the morale about, of the team. He, he doesn't. He wanted to run the show. He's he was tired. But of how his, about you win the Super Bowl? Because that's pretty impressive. And then we're not about here that to shit. win Super Bowls. He won his two. He's here to fix funky shit. That's what he wanted. That's what he was there to do for Dallas. Right. It was he was there for for the Jets. Right. And what he's there for for Miami now. And he's going to leave them. He's there to make you not suck and then, and then scram. Who are you talking about? Uh, Bill, Bill Parcells. Yeah, but if you're uh, – oh, whatever. It's old but news. You know what? The fucking Patriots, they really played fucking these people in Connecticut when they said, yeah, maybe we'll move down to Connecticut just so they could do a power move and get a, their new fucking stadium. And everybody in Connecticut's all happy. They think they're getting a real team since the Whalers left. That's all I know in sports. <laughs> That's terrific, Rich. Um, did you – Did you? Uh, that was pretty good. If Patrice would have said that, you would have agreed. You would have said. You would have said I that. I would have said that actually, though. Yeah, I don't think and they. Then, well, I know because you're like smarter than high school teasing. You don't know shit. <laughs> I know a lot. <laughs> Here we go. Let's talk yeah. about golf. Like let's, golf, golf. Let's talk about golf. And please don't make fun of my speech. You don't have the right. <laughs> you haven't earned well, any. You don't right. have the right to smile. What, 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 what the fuck? I got nice to you. you. Don't fucking, you know what, what you know what, you? this was the problem with you fucking guys. You'll take uh, anybody's side here against me, okay? Never. No. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. No. Uh -huh. Voss, before you become a victim. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a Jew. I've always been a victim. You, you felt. You kind of make it easy. You felt left out of this conversation. I, I understand. Anthony does, too, because right. he's not really interested. No, but so. guess what he did? He's just going to wait. 
Philly has something to add. Listen, I, I, listen, you, you know what you added? Nothing. <laughs> you and OP were talking about it. Maybe I was doing But there's some job. people that re- that know football that go, oh, shit, it's football time. Let me listen. I know I know and baseball. Go, this is football time for some people out there. Then right? you go, oh, fucking, you say some ridiculous Connecticut thing. Yeah. To just try to blow a hole in the shit so you can get back in. <laughs> yes. Oh, okay, listen. Just uh, stop. You're uh, not a victim. Give us five more minutes and we'll go back yeah, to garage like, sales or see? something. <laughs> we'll talk about the like antique road show it, for he you. He turned this <laughs> into fucking old fuck. He turned us into poor Voss. Right. We poor uh, and I don't. But here's what pe- you know. And I don't even know. Was got enough air Motherfuckers time. like Voss. Here's what bugs. No, me. I don't care about air time. <laughs> here's what bugs me air about time. Voss. There's people time. and there's people in my life who just they have no. Like, just small worldliness about everything. Like, a little bit of knowledge about everything. And if you don't have that knowledge, you say, you ask some questions to make it. Rich, ask a question. Huh? Like that you're interested in things you don't know. Ask a question. Instead of destroying shit. Ask a question. About what? What do you want to ask? Sports in general. And trust me, I don't know shit. I mean, I'll be the first to tell you I don't listen, even know. I don't even, even know who much. Cares? I, I mean, never knew about, about hockey, it, right? I, I never knew about hockey. And, and, it's ridiculous. and then you ask a question to make it make sense. Like, oh, okay. Because why well, would you go through doing... life and di- okay, something what? as important as football, right? I That's know important. a little bit about no. golf. Enough that if somebody who knows a lot, like I go, I go, hey, man, that's very. What's the I, FedEx Cup? That's a dumb question. Uh, that's no, like no, trivia. That's, tri- that's, that's not a that. trivia. That's the biggest thing in golf right what's, now. What's the, that's the biggest thing in what's golf. What's the Lay's potato chip bowl in football? Like, that's a stupid question. That's yeah. Notre Dame How and many, Auburn. No, no, no. This is what I'm saying. <laughs> you just scared the, the shit basics, out of me. The basics of golf, I don't play it, but the basics, I can fucking, I can go, well, okay, so, I get it. Yeah, it's like saying, like, what's a, what, wait, what's wait, a birdie thinking, they're talking wait, about? A birdie, yeah, birdie, I know that. Like, yeah, he knows that. But that's a question, like, somebody that doesn't know. Would ask. Well, 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 well like, stop, stop, you know. stop. Patrice is right that I just jumped in with, with just to get in. Okay, he's right about that. Uh, 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 but what I did say is a known validation. Fa- this, this, no, it, no, it, no, 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 no. It is a known fact that, that, that New England, England. No, we're talking. You, no, you know what? This is where you're wrong. You were talking about what a what a Rich. fuck what Belichick is. But I was saying how the organization fucked Connecticut. So that uh, was relevant to the conversation. I will. No, I, will yes. I will have to defend Rich on this point. Unfortunately, see, I am coming to your okay, side. Thank because the FedEx is a big deal now in golf. Okay, no, let's get back. It's to not it. like one what's tournament. The, what's the fucking? What's the? What's the? It's what's just the Masters. Like if that's it, well, for the, a person who don't know well, golf, Masters, it's a silly yeah, question. That, that doesn't, it's uh, arbitrary. I'm talking about yeah. the but, game of golf that everyone plays, and not just. Fe- it's, it's oh, so a, what do you want to ask? There are you? rules. But well, the Masters is is a big question too, because there's only four majors, so yeah. that's kind of a big deal that's, too. That's trivia for. We're not talking trivia. We're talking about basic. Yeah, like, hey, what sports happens if your ball lands on the cart interest. path? Huh? Like, what basic happens if your interest. ball is on the cart path? What do you do? You, you move. You move it to point of entry, no and, closer to the hole. Oh uh, no! You, and no. you don't lose a stroke. If you're Rich Voss, you kick it forward fifty Are you yards. Really, you've and ever, and uh, you've seen that's me, where your ball was the whole me, fucking time. Really, cheater. you've ever seen me cheat in golf? Cheater. Yeah, I'm a cheater. Please, you I, beat you and your, I beat Cheater. you and your father-in-law so bad, you guys drove home in tears. No. Shut up. Oh, shit. Oh, close. He, he wants a rematch. Close, shit. He wants I, a rematch, This is some old personal <laughs> shit. <laughs> and now I have, might have to apologize to Rich. <laughs> okay. This could be vengeance because <laughs> yeah. of what he did really? to your family. <laughs> really? People Richard? from Philly have a lot of pride really? for uh, some reason. Uh, he's uh, bragging uh, about oh, my father-in-law, he my fucking, father-in-law. He gave you a good run. He gave me a good run, really? You know what? He gave you a good run. You know what? A lot, of, a lot of second place teams give the first place team a good run. Oh, okay. We're going to have a rematch the guy, in the spring, sir. Nobody remembers the, the guy rematch. in second place, all right? The Let's, spring help. Want to talk about lost balls then? Huh? Lost balls? What about lost balls? Oh, here it is. <laughs> this is. All right, I have to say sorry, Rich. I have to apologize. We all fucking, know Opie to have vengeance in his heart. Fucking uh, Rich starts the round. He hates Rich from that whooping. Oh, yeah. And, and Rich, Rich probably talks shit to the family. Uh, absolutely. He nah, dismissed the family. In Man. all fairness, it's fine. It was a, it was oh, a great day, and, uh, and we're going to have a rematch. But what I want to say about Rich is he'll start a hole with a brand new shiny golf ball, and he's putting with something that looks like it has tumors First by the ball, end of the fucking hole crazy? because I, he happens to shank one in the woods and find it's a 20 fucking minutes later. So you're, he's saying that 
<laughs> you shake it in the wood, and somehow Find you found ball. a brand new shiny ball. No, no, no he starts with a shiny ball. That's the key. Oh. And by the time he's putting, the thing can't even roll right because it's it's listen. been in the woods for ten years. I don't hear no words. Let me explain <laughs> something to you. <laughs> okay, let me. I, I mean, uh, in the woods. And first of all, the course we played there was no woods because we played a link style I'm, course. I'm not even talking about the time you played my father-in-law. Okay, when we played. I'm Beth talking about paid. the time where you broke okay. my fucking you hand. Believe, and I, <laughs> let me ask you because I made wow. me check you for I'm kicks. You this, fucking asshole. But here's what interests me. I believe you to be what a cheater. Oh, no, I'm, I'm, I'm fine. I bet you. <laughs> no, I guarantee. I bet you, Voss has cheated in golf. No, no, no. How no, about no. when you play by yourself? You've never cheated. No, when there's you play no reason. No, there's no reason. To, if I, if he's a I, guy. on a par six. First of all, I'm I'm saying, a Morgan, par Morgan. six, a par, <laughs> par five. No, is we're both par five? At you. <laughs> par five is the biggest you can go. Yeah, yeah. some par some five. some retarded courses have. There's one that had a par six. You don't even acknowledge it because in no tournament there's no par six. I'm not talking about tournaments. I'm talking about par six. There's no par six. Par six is extremely rare and, and it's ridiculous. difficult, right? I can't imagine somebody of Voss's physical stature not cheating on a par 5 course. Really? Why the, he's by himself? Well, first because his first hit is only going to be 100 yards Wait, first major. Are you, <laughs> but you know what's so funny? He, I would love to go with Patrice, he, but I can't. <laughs> <laughs> Voss, I, can't. I can't imagine Voss could hit it. Listen, Hit it more than 100, 115 yards. That's first that, of all. That first under what? 115. He yards. can almost do that with a wedge. <laughs> I, 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 Why? He's really <laughs> good? Voss can hit the fucking ball for is his Voss size. Is really good? For his size. Voss is actually a really good golfer. Here's the thing. Here's a, he's a lot of these girls play golf. He doesn't golf. have fun doing it, but he's good at it. Why? Well, I quit biting my arm. These girls, they're this big. These little Asian girls, they hit the ball 250 yards. It has nothing to do with size. Mean? It depends what club. and what, You know? Yeah, if the wind's at my back. All right, then you got the power of a little Chinese girl, then. Yeah, <laughs> damn, you fucking stand. I got the you, right, suck, right. you suck. Let's get back. <laughs> let's get back to football. <laughs> Patrice, <laughs> did you hear the announcers in the the Saints Seahawks game with no. the guy with the lisp? Mm -mm. Should have told the guys ahead of time to get the fucking audio. The guy had a lisp no. the entire game. Well, well, but if you, didn't, if you didn't see it, then it, uh, this is meaningless. But a lot of no. people picked up on it. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know who was he. Who, he was must have been the announcer for Seattle. I believe he was, and they gave him the you know the shot at prime time, and he has a list. What was his last name? Voss. Oh, uh -oh. A little self-deprecating humor. That's what I'm trying to say. Yeah. Kind of like it. <laughs> <laughs> did you see the Eagles game? Uh, yeah, I did. But I knew Vic isn't as good as he thinks. Let me tell you something, man. Vic, I've noticed that the last few weeks. I'll tell you what happened to Mike Vic. Yeah, he started getting comfortable that white people like him again. Yeah, he wanted that dog. He said he wanted a dog, and everybody started listen remembering. You can I told I told you I don't know I think I told somebody I I, I might have been on the show. Yeah, I think it was. It was the interview. I, I can see say. the interview. It was when he scored. See, when he first came back, he would score a touchdown, and then hand the fucking ball to the ref. He did like. Yeah, yeah. Good Negro shit. He'll no take, fucking he, dance. No dancing. No yep. celebrating. Here you go. No fucking talking shit. Mm. And then it's after that Monday night game, when white people liked him again, he you could see the swag come back, <laughs> and you could see him start to feel yeah like like yeah, I think I can start good. doing some some black shit and and be cool with it. And he stopped this. See why he was jerking him off is because he had. Here's what they turned him in. See what they would rather have in the NFL is Tom. They don't want a nigga who can run and throw. <laughs> they want a white boy who can throw and run. You feel me? <laughs> they want fucking Tom Brady to be able to run. That's their dream. So Michael Vick was doing it that way for a second. He was thinking throw. Look at how he keeps his feet up and how he, oh, my God. And then he runs if he just has to. They don't like these scrambling niggas. They want, they want, and he became a scrambling nigga again. Just start running. Yeah. And they don't like it. They don't. They do not like it. And that, and that's what he became again. He stopped, he stopped being like this pocket passer. That Who they doesn't like it? The Who white world? Like, yeah. Because wow. it's something they can't do. <laughs> they they love Steve Young. Steve Young is a Hall of Famer. Steve Young used to run all the time. His best highlights are this fucking asshole running. <laughs> yeah. But it's like they 
Fran fucking Tarkenton. Never ran. That's all he did was scramble. Yeah, he was scrambled. Yeah. He was a scrambler. Whoopsie. Yeah, that's, why oh, he's that's why he can't fucking walk. He, he was a scrambler. And I'm not saying that's bad. Joe but Cap. as soon as you get fucking Michael Vick or, 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 or Vince Young and, and then Donovan McNabb, this is why I never liked Donovan. Because then you get these black quarterbacks who can run. But then the, 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 the white announcers is like, oh, he's a scrambler. He gets hurt, busts his knee, and he stopped running. And it's almost like he enjoyed it so that he can prove that he can be smart like a white quarterback. Like, if, if you can run, fucking run. Not just run. using brute strength to run. Look, you Look at sh- I'm not just a gorilla <laughs> throwing trees. I'm a, I'm a runner. I'm a, I can think. Like, it's, that's, more mad, that's more shit with white people in your head. Like, use your skills and do the right thing. Yeah. But he went back to scrambling and went back to bad mechanics. Because he was good. He was getting good. The, a perfect weapon will be Tom Brady, who can fucking run. Or Peyton Manning, who's not yeah. a statue, and he mm. can just he can just run if shit gets fucked up. That's some dangerous ass shit. But Michael Vick won't. He could, th- he could throw a fucking football out, Vick. He's a beast. He just doesn't have the, the <laughs> greatest aim. He can't, like. The me- his mechanics are Can horrible, I ask but question? how he throws the fucking football is insane. But Voss has a question. Can I ask you? Yes. Okay, oh, now, of course, you want a quarterback that can scramble and run, like you said, Tarkenton. <laughs> yes. Okay. But. Tarkenton. Like, like, whatever, Fran. Fran. Uh, Tarkenton. <laughs> Actually, t- Tarkenton, whatever the. Yeah, whatever. I don't know. It was back uh, in the day. Who cares? Matter. It's only a name. <laughs> the halfback is, is the run. Just laughing at how difficult this show is. It's just. <laughs> it's just. There's an attack around the corner. <laughs> it really is. It's just. It's nerve wracking. It really Why is. Why would anybody want to come on this show I, I, as a guest? I couldn't just, sleep last night. It's nerve wracking. It really <laughs> is. You can't say anything. There's a I bugger. Had, I had to take oh, around the corner to go to bed last night. Damn. I'm having fucking anxiety every time. We all know Voss <laughs> is, it has a speech impediment. <laughs> no, that, that was, and, that was just, and he says Talkington, but that's his... That like was we, close enough but we you, all for speak, any other radio show in America. We all speak fluent Voss. Yeah. <laughs> just let him have Talkington. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Talkington. <laughs> I don't know. I, but is this the, right, what, what, what's this question? question, per question. What, what's your question? Oh, okay, obviously. You know what this is? Obviously you want Come a quarterback. Come on, stop talking to him. <laughs> Jesus. What's your Sorry. question? <laughs> okay, history. Obviously you want a quarterback that can run, do everything. But basically, it's it's a team. This is what you do. You don't want a, you don't want a guard that could, that could uh, whatever. A guard is supposed to block for the court. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Everybody has their, you know, the end isn't supposed to be able to throw the ball. He's not supposed to come around. And, and what's, your, a, what's the fucking question, man? The main thing a quarterback's supposed to do is run the team, be smart, and yeah. be able to throw the ball. That's the main thing, right? Actually, not really. The what? quarterback is is, is, is is the most important. It's, that's what you, I just said, the run most, the team. But I'm saying if if things break down, okay, or if things don't break down, and you have a quarterback that can run like a running back, mm. fucking what's the difference? Now, uh, 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 you know who I, I used to play football, so it's like you block for somebody who's fearless. Like you want to block for a motherfucker that you know is going to help you win games. So if Michael Vick is running, you know he's a trooper. You're going to block for him. So it doesn't. You can't put that on the guard. You can't because there is. There, that's why they go in skill positions. Skill positions are the motherfuckers that improvise. Me, I'm six four, four hundred pounds. I don't, I don't fucking improvise. No, you I drive yourself right into. I go hut hut yeah. and I block that cocksucker in front of me. <laughs> yeah. That other seven hundred pound dude. <laughs> and then the skill positions make sure that. What position do you play? I played tackle both ways. I played halfback, man. There's no way you play halfback. I played halfback. I was quick. I was very quick. What in the get the fuck? Out I'm of not bullshit. I played Holes. halfback. I was quick. You was man. a running back where? The when your league? What unathletic league was you fucking? <laughs> yes, I'm very athletic. When it was all you? Jews. Yeah, it was, yeah, the, it was all the Jewish league. Yeah. Can you imagine? They uh, have, the they JFL. <laughs> the JFL. Uh, Where everybody's an owner. <laughs> yeah. There's no players. Uh, uh, Should have went with the KFL. <laughs> Oh man! Uh, Twenty-two people on field negotiating. No, no, nobody will hit you because you're scared. <laughs> they want to hit you. But he scared. goes blue. I think I went red. Oh, yeah. shit. oh boy! Did he ever know? <laughs> Did he ever get to his question? Yeah, he asked it. Oh, I, lo- I tapped out a pretty, a while uh, ago. It was a really a statement. But, okay. You know, he, you know, 
right. But that's we've been so involved. Did you, did you think the Eagles should have got past the Packers? Uh, not the way they were playing, though. No. And not well, the way they obviously Aaron, didn't seem like they were playing a good game. Aaron Rodgers is a beast. He's evidently. a fucking he's, good he's, quarterback. He's huh? a beast, but he's not. He's just not in the talks at this moment because Drew Brees and and Peyton Manning and Tom Brady are dominating the quarterback world. But evidently, uh, Aaron Rodgers is a fucking. He's animal. on his way up. He's he's great, he, he can beat you by himself because they have nobody. Mm. The, they had the best tight end in the league for a second. He got hurt. Uh, they got a few guys, but they have this kid on on defense who's like a goddamn white Lawrence Taylor. This, this is where I tap this out. This fucking I don't, I don't Clay know Matthews. I don't know this. Is like a fucking a animal. Yeah, what? Yeah. Clay Matthews is an animal. Yeah. So it's like you know they got some people. They got some people, but you know I mean who are they playing Atlanta? They're gonna get beat by Atlanta. Atlanta is animal. It's gonna team. be it's gonna be um Patriots uh, Atlanta if everybody mm. does what they're supposed to do. I, now that New, Lo- no New Orleans Fuchs. is out. Yeah, no Sometimes bullshit. A fluke happens. Uh, you're, you're listening to the fan, uh, folks. Mm. Mm. Nothing. He should have planned that out, though. <laughs> I, <laughs> like, I, got, I, I, I tried to like look at the paper like it was should. nothing. I tried to play it <laughs> off like you know. I'm so uncomfortable. <laughs> <right now. laughs> you just make people uncomfortable, Rich. I, right? It's just like, are but, you uncomfortable but, now? But he'll victimize <laughs> himself. He'll he'll victimize himself. Why are you beating me up? <laughs> As, uh, uh, one time Patrice, I said that. I'm if Patrice so said that, it would be. If I said we're yeah. listening to the fan, and then I had no nothing. confidence in it. Uh, I didn't have no any belief. None, none at all. He but just wants to say something. Say something. But I thought it would have been funny. Shut but up. where were you going? Nowhere. 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 He had no plan B I, to make it better. I, I always have hope that he's going somewhere Rich when he does that. Exit. I usually do if, have some. If, if Rich oh, builds like, a building, he? he'll build. He'll have one piece of wood and hope Why did that you... everybody else has the rest of the fucking material. <laughs> Why did he need a prop for that bad line? Because he knew. He actually had a prop. And he I said, said no. No. It was, it, was, it was his fucking. Confidence. It was the douche chills he gave himself. Yeah. I thought. I the thought. Fan, and he folded up the paper. I thought he was cleverly going into a plug for one of his shows. No, no that was you Plan B, but I didn't. That was but, Plan B, but, but oh, I was so embarrassed by Plan A. Why are you fucking going against your? Comp- you have, I would say, we all are, are basically, we, we're fluent in Voss. Yes. You yes. know he had nothing else. You know what cleverness was he getting ready to say? I, I hold out for hope with him. You know, <laughs> the first, you know the first of all has no second of all. I know, you're right. You're right. You're right. Yeah. It, uh, maybe I'm tired because it's Monday. Cause, you're right. I should have picked up on the But that's because we love Rich. We want Rich to succeed because it yeah. throws everything Listen. out of whack. I yes. need Rich to succeed so I can mm-hmm. go, I'm, this is my friend. Listen, yeah. first of all, let we me roll together. We, here's, here's I, the thing. I hear you. I hear you. Uh, I agree. In the overall aspect of life, mm-hmm. I'm successful. Okay. He's been reading the secret. Like I don't read any of that. I don't read. He's been reading some positive read. horseshit. No, I don't read. You got an iPad now? I don't huh? read. You got an iPad? No, I'm going to buy Bobby's old one. See, it's always that. Oh, That's what bothers me. Why don't you just go get a this. fucking new iPad? I don't yeah, know if I'm why are you always like looking it. for a deal on everything? Like you'll like it. Huh? Dude, you'll that's, like it. That's what infuriates me. When was what? the last thing you actually why bought is... something brand new and didn't go you're, looking you're for a deal? Present. Oh, shit. <laughs> I, don't what, I don't even know what you got. Me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what you well, got. Well, it was $300. Thank you. I appreciate that. What? Why is Bobby getting rid of it? Because a new one will come out. But why don't you just buy yourself a new what, what one? Is, what is the specs on Bobby's fucking iPad, and how much is he, he going to give it to you for? I don't know. I'm, like, listen, I'm, I'm going to buy it. You, don't, you never I, buy yourself the only nice I don't stuff. Buy it. You're always looking for a fucking no, here's deal. The, thing, the car is always two, two years old. Nice other people's shit. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's yeah. always a deal that has to be made. Why don't it's you just fun. go, you just go buy yourself an iPad? Buy You're successful. Huh? You're successful. Go out and get a fucking iPad. Maybe I'll do it today. Do it. Um, Somebody else's wrist sweat was on your watch. Like it's no, this is brand new. <laughs> this is brand new, brother. Somebody's all right, so you, brand new. so you did buy yourself a brand. All right, at least all right. I but don't believe him. I'll show you. The, you I'll show you huh? the paperwork. I don't believe him. You got a dead guy's watch on you? He, Not at all. You it's do, a right? Deal. No, the dead sh- guy's watch. Yeah, it's some deal. He bought it in Canal Street in the back. No. How'd you buy the watch? And I guarantee you have something on your I'll tell you how I bought. Just, yeah. uh, Listen for the deal. There's going to be some kind of bartering that right, happened. Right. You, there was something. Did I ever say Martin's Jewelers on this uh, <laughs> show? Voss has a diamond. Uh, let me see. Which one? Let me see that. 
He has a diamond bezel Rolex. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, Voss did not buy I'm, a I, diamond bezel. No Rolex. I was making uh, stupid brand, money brand a couple. No. Of, listen to me. You did not buy, oh no, no, no whoa, whoa, stop! You're right. You know what? There's, there's I bought the Rolex and then I bought the bezel separate. I went, I went and got the bezel. At, at the jewelry store. If we, if we continue to Hold fucking yeah. Yeah, 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 examine yeah, yeah. this pussy, I'm breaking down a red. Okay, okay, okay. what happened Explain was. Explain how you bought the watch. I guarantee there was some kind of bargaining no, or something. Was, not for this one. So my, I had my other the Rolex. Part first. My other Rolex. Here's how we find out. Go ahead, Patrice. My other we, Rolex. Here's how we find out. What's the what's the style of Rolex? This one? This is the, uh, what's it called? The fucking, oh, the, the date just. The date just. And then I went and bought the uh, the diamond bezel because I bought Bonnie a diamond bezel. When they, Bonnie they had this, what happened? It listen, to me for half listen. Price. <laughs> when Bonnie when, when Bonnie had wait, hold on. When Bonnie had the baby, I bought her a diamond bezel because I bought myself one. How much you pay for it, new? What the watch? Yeah. I think like seven grand. It was like seven grand new. I don't know if you bought it. I'm telling you. Not for seven years. I don't believe it. No, I don't believe it. it. My other Rolex, there was some shady shit behind it. Everything you do has shady shit behind it. (laughs) Everything. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. I'm I'm square business. Square business. (laughs) (laughs) What? That's what niggas say. (laughs) When you're dealing in street with us, oh, yo, look at me. Square Square business. business. Square business. (laughs) Watch. Square business. (laughs) I'm trying to say. So you actually is, spent seven thousand dollars. No more, because then I went and bought right. a diamond that, bezel. On that watch, no. this is like that. Nobody would do that. No, what are you talking not, about? that watch. He and got that a Voss. good. Voss would not have brought a bought a brand new that I'm watch. I'm telling you, knowing he could have got it cheaper looking around. No, or, no, or, no. You can't. You, not can just, get, just, you can get a different watch. This is this is what I'm saying about Voss. What? It, v, You're saying seven, this isn't a nice saying, watch? No, for, no, no, no. That Rolex that Voss has, okay, uh-huh. the particular one, because. Because Danny looked it up, well, and I there's a whole three bunch years of ago. different fucking... You're right, I bought it. I've had so, it three so or four I'm years. Saying, it's, it's, it's within range of what it would cost. A, but brand, still. a brand new Rolex, right? You get It's like I said, that Rolex there is the... It's the... You buy a, a, a top-of-the-line Toyota. Mm-hmm. So this is a top of the line Rolex, and so this yeah, is why yeah, that's he's why lying. we're suspicious, why and that's why you're lying. Because a seven, there, you're you not know, spending seven thousand on a watch. There's no seven thousand dollar top of the line. You're wrong. Rolex. You think you know everything about everything? First I of all, I don't. <laughs> but a top of the no, line listen, Rolex listen. is more oh, you're right. you than seven thousand dollars. First of all, you can get a Rolex for one hundred fifty thousand dollars. Then you can don't get say you bought a top of the line. Rolex. Right. I bought a seven thousand dollar <laughs> Rolex. So compared to the four thousand so dollar Rolex, it's the top of the he line. He bought <laughs> again. He bought that Boxster. He bought the box. No, no, he no. bought the bottom of the oh, line. He could have no, gotten no. the top of the no, line. Listen, Toyota. You could have got a top of the God, line. He just doesn't shut the fuck up. <laughs> you could have well, got I'll a top of the line. <laughs> you just you no, got no, the top of the line. You could have got a Wait, top. What watch you have? What watch? A a a a Breitling. Is that the top of the line Breitling? Absolutely not. Okay. Is it a nice Breitling? Yes. What did that cost you? Three thousand, right? Yes. That's about a three thousand. Yes. My other Rolex is a five thousand dollar Rolex. This is a seven. Maybe one day I'll have a twelve thousand dollar Rolex. Because they don't. But, but he but here's the thing. a very good Rolex right. for for cheap. Yeah. No, I didn't buy it for cheap. I bought it for what the I not only that we I bought all, this. When none of us listen, believe you. Yeah. Listen, see this and right here. Did, see this shit right did, here. It would be the first time you've see, actually bought something. The diamond store. Diamond star of David. I bought this shit in the Diamond District right here. Right, mm-hmm. that's where you d- get deals and shit. You know the deal in the Diamond District. This I bought from a jewelry store, so it wasn't just no barter and there's no. I mean, maybe a little. Hey, do this, do that. You know, take a couple. But this. Was I think a nine thousand dollar watch, and they gave it to me for seven because I might have plugged them on radio. I don't know somewhere <laughs> I might have put their name on something. Who knows? But that's what we're getting at. There's always something going on with. So you. that was the deal. No, but I didn't do it. I, this I think one. it goes deeper than that. But at least he's admitting that much. All I and know he'll is, admit more. Yeah, he didn't just walk in and go. No, I want that. Take a, take a hundred dollars off and boom, I'll, I'll, I'll walk out of the store with it now. No, there was something else going You're on, right. but you yeah, already admitted. Listen, you pay for it. Knocked for, it down two thousand. Listen, you you do you pay full price for everything. Who's gonna walk in? 
pay not for. everything, but when you a buy lot of times I do, and even when I wasn't making money, because sometimes it's like I want that. I'm getting it now. I'm not going to go on the internet and look for a no, bargain. Not the internet. Yeah. I, I wouldn't buy a Rolex on the bargain. Air. I wouldn't buy a always. Rolex. I, it's not the bargain. It's the fun of a negotiating, man. It's oh, not the bargain. I, I it's pay, like drug- I pay full price for almost everything. Really? Yeah, I just I, I was like, oh, that is that what it cost? All right, I'll take yeah, it. Yeah, that was too yeah, much well, work, uh, huh? That was too much work, and you I'm talking about before I had money. This fucking before Saigon. Well, first Where of all, you, you can't barter for you know certain things that you buy. You know what I mean? That's true. <laughs> okay. Do you, you walk down Canal Street ever? Never Looking been. We're on Canal Street. All right, just not. No, I don't go to Canal Street. No, it's 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 the drug addict mm. mentality. You don't get it, but you like you like to. Negotiate, or you like you like to fucking. No, it's a pain in the ass. ass. No, it's not a pain in the ass. Rich. It's like when you you're worth millions of dollars. You know that's, so that's, 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 that's not the point we're making. He he, thou protestive too, too much. much. So it, it's what, not the point what, we're what, making. What we're going back to? He's actually making that point. Is that he got it on a deal? Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah it wasn't. It wasn't brand new. Out the fuck. I'm gonna tell you why. It was brand new. It's brand new. Rolex dealers can't. Down, they don't. They can't fuck with a price. They don't fuck around. You can't fuck with is. a brand new no, Rolex no. price. Oh, he he yells, so he's got to be to. right. They don't need to do that. <laughs> he, when he yells, he's got to be right. You're 100 percent wrong. I'll, I'll it up. could be the last year model. Don't. They, they don't because Rolex hold their price forever. So you buy it for twenty, you sell it for twenty. That's admitted. not true. They don't he hold their price. Admitted he got they 2000. do hold their price. He admitted no, they it. don't. Go online. I got I got the GMT or whatever Rolex that is. All right. Here's I'm not another thing. Hear... You, what? Look at, I know that I have uh, the Breitling Avenger. Okay. Mm-hmm. Why I know that? Because I brought a three thousand dollar watch, and I'm like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> uh-huh. He bought a seven thousand dollar. I think that used to be nine thousand. <laughs> it's <laughs> like, will you stop it? Just <laughs> fucking stop really? it! Have you ran out of things to say? <laughs> Were you gonna attack my watch? Is there an extra, I, no. Have you ran out of now? This is more diversionary just... tactics. Is there an extra letter on that watch? <laughs> <laughs> There's an S. It's a Rolex. Right, thank <laughs> you for getting it. Oh. Is there an extra oh, letter? Now doing stock. It's a Strolex. <laughs> is that a stock? <laughs> <laughs> right. Oh my god! Oh, <laughs> I like. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> you don't come to my watch. But at least you admitted it. <laughs> at least you admitted that you, you got $2,000 off the watch. Oh, I don't know. By but doing I some uh, hoodly doodly to... stuff. All I'm saying is that's fine. You That's your thing. You like to bargain and go online and find deals. I, I get that. Part of it. Hold on. But you do that with everything. Not and that's everything. the problem we have. Here's a... Go and buy an iPad. Wait, They're not that problem. expensive. Wait, wait, first of all, just, you have a lot more problems in this authority, but my spending habits aren't a problem to you. Okay, I, <coughs> excuse oh, me. <laughs> Holy yeah, shit. Yeah, but your lung cancer <laughs> certainly oh, is a God. problem. I hope it's not contagious. I got some of Anthony's hair in my mouth. <laughs> I, uh, I, uh, okay, here's the I love. I oh, spend money. Damn. I'm not, I'm not I'm saying, far from cheap. Okay, last night we went out for dinner, just dropped 150 for nothing for what the kid. What was the deal you made with the fucking no, restaurant? No, no, we went Why out. Why would he say that? That's, like, that's a gentleman's that price. Is not, <laughs> that ain't shit. 150 without alcohol? How many people? Three. Seven. No, <laughs> me, me, Bonnie, and the baby. But we were going to just go get some, you know, light like sandwich because we're going to a nice place. If it was tonight. McDonald's, but, then we'd be but, impressed. What, yes, what kind of restaurant? Like, we can't get, you can't get out of a restaurant I, I, for I, less than 100 for And I people. love the free breadsticks. <laughs> okay. The Olive Garden. Uh, where'd you go? Uh, uh, Ross, Ross, where'd you go? I don't know. The fucking concierge sent us somewhere. What the fuck? You know, I have what a concierge. What type of food? He doesn't the know. The concierge. He doesn't Italian. know. Now, can, Italian. We, can we, can we, can we agree that we will not allow him to say he doesn't know any what? of these things anymore? Like, hey, where'd you go to eat? I don't know. What's you your watch? Know. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Like, what's going no. on? Yeah. What's the name of a Ita- fucking restaurant? A fucking Italian <laughs> restaurant down the street from the hotel. Who the fuck? Who cares the name? name? It was good. It was good. <laughs> Anyhow, what I'm trying to say, wait a minute, let's get back to my point. <laughs> Look it. Let's get back to my point. Hold on. Here's my point. We're, we're done with your point. My, I, you know I'm talking. not cheap. Vaughn always cheap. talks like he's trying to talk his way out of a speeding ticket. <laughs> <laughs> I got a chicken. No matter what, you go, hey, Vaughn, how you doing today? Why was that? Why does it matter? You know what's Why fucked up wait, about what? Long Island? I was driving to my gig the other night. And all of a sudden, I'm driving through the light, and I see two flashes. Like the light took uh, a picture yeah, of me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, uh, as you're driving, you're <laughs> you know you yeah, get. And, it, and the light was days. yellow. It was yellow. Well, but, must have been red when you were at the going through it. <laughs> like they took two pictures. You got the picture. I, 
That's that technology is gonna be on every huh? street corner. Too. That's fucking unbelievable. That shit's getting cheaper to Rich put Voss, up. Rich Voss, you are fined one hundred and fifty dollars with a thirty dollars yeah. surcharge. Can I give you twenty for the surcharge? <laughs> and I'll give you one twenty-five for the ticket. And if I'll you, perform you, at your benefit. What do you mean? If you talk, uh, I got a ticket. If you talk to the prosecutor, you could talk him down. I know, yeah. But I'm not gonna go to New York for a fucking. That's, I'm well, paying that's the a price. Hassle. Just, it's a fucking, unfortunately, and they know that, so you just yeah, pay they, and move, fucking and move it's a on. scam, man. <laughs> Voss drives to the court of that county that he got that. You have, ticket. haven't you, Rich? No, Voss but I got a ticket up in pay. when Once I was doing a college. A I was doing a college up in Alfred, New York. You went back to Alfred? No, no, Alfred. no. You went back when to I got Alfred. pulled over, I my first one is, do you guys listen to Open Anthony? And oh. then that got me nothing. Then the PBA cards, nothing. Okay. Well, PBA and I, doesn't get you anything. PBA anymore. is Those cards mean nothing. PBA is something you just want to throw. You need the FOP, man. There's one card that you buy for like 200 or three hundred dollars. You can't see, buy them. See, but yeah, he my can. friend has Patrice, it. but he can. <laughs> my friend. You forgot your own point. Of course he's buying these things. Because he's done that research too. You gotta ask him no, PBA. Me. If somebody gives you a PBA, it's like it's like they they take PBA cards. FOP the fraternal order. You That's need the that. one, right? The FOP is the one is you, that the, you Where's you the need. one where you make a a donation, and you get the card, and they're like, we like this motherfucker. It's called a bribe. Well, yeah. <laughs> but, the, but the plastic the ones, you need, right here you need one that's made out of, <laughs> made we take out care of fucking... Of I know you got... You must have 5,000... No, I don't have any of the... Uh, I don't have any of the... Well, hold on. You have to have at least FOP. <laughs> Anthony, <laughs> how, many, how many... You must have 50 I, FOP oh, cards. No, I only need this one. Oh, What's shit. that? This is the only one. And this is the key? That's this the, the key one. one? Yeah. That's that, and and on the back it's got everything written on. Oh, this is, and this is big. This is this is bigger That's than the brass. FOP. Yeah, yeah. This is this is the this is the fraternal order of bigger motherfuckers than that. Did you, have, did you have to make a big donation for that or something, or was that given to yeah, you? Yeah, I make a big no donation every month. I pay the Marescas. Oh, this is, and he already got you. He already got you one of these. And, and you know, I know the guy. Let me see that. He yeah. just slipped me one of these fucking things. I got, I got one at the house. I, I, Look, I, I know the guy. It. I'm like like we. He, this this should come with this show. Doing the show. <laughs> this should fucking come with you that. Get man. something for it. Right? Are you fucking serious? I I got one at home. Even, I, got I can't one. be mad at Keith though for anything. That fucker knows how to play poker, man. Yeah. He helped yeah. me. He helped Did me he? play poker. Dude. Really? Oh, absolutely. You went well too. I was the last. I know. Uh, I know you did well. People from this show that, that was out. And, and what you, was this? A tournament that I wasn't invited to? It's gambling, Rich. To. No, I wasn't. Huh? It's gambling. Oh, I don't mind that I, anymore. Time. What is this one? Lifetime member. Oh, You're gambling again? No. That does not That does National you nothing, Rifle right? Does that does you anything if you it pull that out? It gets you discounts at hotels and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> does it? Yeah. <laughs> a little something, now something. And yeah, hey, just... wait a minute. I'll join. God damn. I don't believe in guns, I never but if I get it, a discount, you don't like, do you have any? I'll whenever I make that. a reservation online or something, <laughs> it says, oh, do you have any of this for discount? And I always, I never put it in. I could probably save fucking thousands upon thousands of dollars if I if I <laughs> took one second to like check into something. Well, if you didn't drink when you were gambling, <laughs> no, that's, no, actually that works. That's he really, I'll really? tell you one thing. He really is a sneaky. He goes from just completely coherent to like, oh shit, this nigga's lushing right now. <laughs> he yeah. went. He it took about four good hours. Yeah, and and we were just like, oh, okay, everything, and then. You know what happened? You said something mean. Like you started off nice, <laughs> oh, shit. and then at the end, like after the four hours, you just got you just said fuck it. I'm yeah. gonna say some fuck them shit to somebody, and I go yeah, yeah. I look, I go this motherfucker's drunk as shit. <laughs> I was hammered. <laughs> I what? said, this motherfucker just said some I called fucked the up dealer, shit. I called the dealer a cunt. Something oh, happened. Right. I said, yeah. uh-oh. And then it's like. And then some old bat. I was making a lot. Like, I make a lot of noise at the table. Even having a good time and shit and fun. It's like, yeah, yeah. That's how it's done. And then some fucking old bitty, bitchy woman uh, on the other side of the pit, like, was sitting at a table. And she turned and gave me this look. And I just looked at it. I went, what the fuck are you looking at? What the fuck are you? I go turn your head around, you fucking old bitch. And, and, and then you which know, is why, get like, oh, which is boy. why, oh, our, which is why our friend is so serious. Uh, 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 you know, Gabe. So he goes, uh, can I say his name on that? No. Who? Keith. Yeah. Keith is very serious about right. his job. I go, Keith, how come you ain't playing? He says I'm working. He's working. I go, all right, well, damn, just play a hand though. You're so good. 
And then at the end of after I see Anthony's shenanigans, then he, I understand. You know. When you're playing blackjack, Keith yeah. has to keep Anthony out of trouble. Keith keeps me out of trouble, and he he pays off my markers. <laughs> you know, Keith did you ever see Scarface at the, when he's in, in in the restaurant? And and Ernie, Ernie, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ernie had to talk to the fuck. <laughs> after Anthony's like, I'm the bad guy. Fuck you. And then this, Ernie has to slide a guy fifty. Look at you. I'm the bad guy. How do you not? You need me. You <laughs> need the bad guy. Look at you bunch of fucking mummies. And, uh, just, I'll, pay, yeah. I'll pay the bill. Yeah, I'll, I'll take care yeah, of you. Don't worry the about one it. Keep, 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 why can't you? Keep. Why don't you shoot craps? It's the it's the crack of gambling. It's no, the best, I, I, man. I make I make money on blackjack. But you you can make more on craps. Nah, I don't yeah. know craps. You, well, well you didn't me. know blackjack until someone taught you. Uh, well, uh, crap, best well, odds, well, craps. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, better than blackjack. Oh my god, I want craps. It's so much more exciting. Uh, I like blackjack. I I lost. I was losing once, and I I hit the table. I went fuck, and I threw my hands up. And the waitress had a tray of a hundred drinks right behind me, and they went flying in the air. And I just brushed her off like nothing happened. Go get some more fucking drinks. I just lost a lot of fucking. It's money. always about a hundred drinks too. Oh uh, man, we're fucking losing two trips. When you're losing, it's just like, you know, don't give me but, shit. I don't want to talk to you. Fuck but you. But I should be able to act like, uh, be able to act like an asshole with the action he's throwing down. That's true. Why right does it matter? There should be an asshole room. Room. You know they got a high roller room? They should have an asshole room. Absolutely. Where you're allowed man. to call the dealer a cunt. You're allowed to fucking curse. You could throw shit on the floor. Like, that's what you're buying by fucking going into this this high, high roller. It's the nasty high roller you know, room it, where you could just go, you fucking piece of shit with these fucking blackjacks you're dealing yourself. Die, motherfucker. You know what's funny? They get mad when you curse, but yet they don't mind that you drink, lose your house, pick up a hooker oh, yeah, after there. Curse. That's they immoral. Have, everything, everything is complete evil in a casino, but you're not allowed to curse. This, go fuck yourself. This Asian <laughs> dealer de was yep. dealing me shit point, and dealing himself great cards, and I yelled right in the face. I went, no tip for you! <laughs> <laughs> that showed her, I'm I was sure. getting so obnoxious. <laughs> That's what I do, Danny. It reminds me of actually one of my favorite casino stories where that Patrice was at. Actually, it was the Hard Rock in Vegas when uh, the traveling virus tour was going on. Yeah. And uh, Travis, went, uh, Travis, uh, Patrice wanted to sit down and, and play some three card poker. So I remember you pointed at the dealer at one point and you oh. went ah, and the guy was just like, "It's not my money." So Patrice just pointing at the cameras above the table. So I was going ah. <laughs> <laughs> when when we were playing, I think we were playing blackjack at one point too, and and the dealer is dealing out some some good cards for the table and busting. And every time the dealer busted, Patrice pointed right in the dealer's face and went, ah! <laughs> It was so fucking funny and flustered the dealer. You're a lot and, of fun and, to gamble with, Patrice. But oh, yeah. in, a lot of in fun. my short time of hanging and gambling a little bit, yeah. something bothers me about gambling. Yeah. When I was, it, it's, it's eventually, it gets pathetic. It, it, <laughs> at Eventually, first, yeah. I'm like having a great time, but I don't drink and shit, so I only run off my own battery. I don't have fucking booze, so <laughs> booze batteries are great. After, after you know, you know, at the slot machine, you know, you sit there and you win a couple of times. You go, oh, I'm gonna keep playing. After a while, you you push the button, like, like just yeah, yeah, like, it, there's know. no more fun and so at first at least you're take, pulling the yeah. handle so you can have some fun it's like whoa i'm pulling the handle and then you just clink push have you ever clink then push. it gets really serious and really mm -hmm. really I hate have you ever seen i saw a guy i was playing blackjack once and he was sitting he was like this he just lost he was up he lost twenty five thousand. yeah and he was so he was sitting there and he didn't know me he goes can you can you give me ten dollars for another bet what? right he just lost twenty. He built it to twenty, and he lost the whole twenty five thousand. Yeah. So I gave him That'll ten. Hurt. Like, like, really, you're gonna get that twenty five thousand back? It's yeah. not gonna with, happen with ten dollars. Hey, with ten, really? It's just he had to make one more bet. Right, right, you know? right. He's always got to make. Did you one read more. the book Owning Mahoney? Hold on, hold no. on, hold on. About the ten dollars, uh, what percentage did you uh, nego yeah. negotiate yeah. with the guy? What was the vig on that one? <laughs> the vig. Yeah. Yeah. I, I was winning, so I. Do. And another time, I'm gonna take five percent of everything you win with my ten bucks. <laughs> See black, see dice, see blackjack. Yeah. You're, here's the thing: you're, you're fucking with. You're, when you're playing blackjack, you're fucking with assholes that don't know how to play, yeah. and they're hitting when they're not supposed to, or they're not hitting when they're supposed to. Craps. The only thing you might have is some one who throws your dice too hard and likes bouncing it all over the place. But you don't have to worry about the motherfucker next to you going. 
oh, I'm going to hit when the dealer has a well, four. you don't sit at those fucking tables. Well, how do you know when somebody sits down, sits you, down. You, you turn around and you tell them, you know, what the fuck are you doing? You don't know how to play? Leave this table. I go, I'm not betting five bucks a hand here, motherfucker. Yeah. You leave. Oh, or I'll pull my, I'll pull my bets though. back. I'll pull my bets back when the, and, and then when he a goes go Asian fuck lady, yourself. When a new Asian lady sits down at the table, you will you will see me pull yeah, my fucking course. bet back and throw the minimum bet right in the circle just so I can see what the fuck she's going to do. It's first. the same with Crash. When they're hot, they come over to do the money. That's when they come over and bring chips. Uh, bring it, when they, they always bring the chips. When the table's fucking because the dude's on a roll. I was playing in Aruba. I'm not bullshitting. When we were. My first wife, we went to Aruba, and I got money all over the fucking table. I'm on fire with the fucking dice. Winning like a... It was fucking insane. And then my wife comes over and touches my arm. Mush. Seven fucking out. <laughs> you know how bad... Ah, you know you how... Wanna, and then, just want to choke her. And then we got home from Aruba after I took her there, and she goes, I want a divorce. Bitch, <laughs> you couldn't have told me that a week ago before you touched my arm, Okay. <laughs> Right when we got home from Aruba, I wanted a divorce. <clears throat> you know some about the gambling. Less money you had to give yeah. her, though. When, when do you get up and go, I'm going to stop right well, that's now? There, that's there, the big question. When the pipe there breaks. Are, that answer, there, there are, the, uh, fucking there are differences. And I mean, when do you get up for the evening? Yeah, After there, you win 25 Gs, like, when I'm do up. you just go, there I'm going to I hear when you get chest pains. I get up when I'm too fucking tired to sit there anymore. That's when I'll get up, up or down. If I'm up, I'll, I'll leave. If I'm down, I'll leave and, and say, like, uh, I'll try again tomorrow or something like that. But Keith is the guy. Like, I'll sit there and and play, and Keith will fucking come by and snatch the fucking chips and go right to the cage, pay off markers, whatever, and I'll keep playing with what he left at the table. Boom, boom, boom. Like, last time, <clears throat> just last time we were at uh, Mohegan or Fo uh, Foxwoods. We were at Foxwoods. I woke up the next morning and I just was like fucking hungover and shit. I'm like, I was like, Keith, what's the damage, man? What I lose? And he's like, dude, you won ten grand. I was like, oh fuck. You know, we, I'm at, all yeah, because all I remember was yelling, marker, <laughs> you know, fucking marker, this is it. marker. <laughs> I, I I do a bit on saying I'm a that, but this is true. Like when you go to a casino with like your girl or your wife, and this is, you know, you go. You go, hold this money, don't give it back to me no matter what I tell you. And that's what you're doing with Keith. No, An no, hour later, that. give me my fucking money. No, 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 I don't. Huh? I don't do that. Half the casino does that. Like, you hide money or no, you hide no, your no, wife. No, 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 no. But see, you, you, I'll I'll just because you've got, you got stupid money, market. so it doesn't matter. I'll just ask like, for I, I've sold gold necklaces in casinos. I'm not saying you can't fucking <laughs> you can't like gold build the poor gamblers out of their fucking money. Are, I want to to gamble back. again so bad. I'm in. I'm at Foxwoods in a uh, Fourth uh, of July weekend. You're getting the itch. I'm there. Oh, next, I shot craps in Seattle. I'm at the Borgata next week. <laughs> <laughs> this this oh, weekend. You're lucky. Jimmy's no, not here. I mean, I did you or did you not? No. All right, get your plugs in. We gotta take a break. Oh, I'm in Harrisburg next weekend. At the uh, Comedy Zone. At, at Catch a Rising Star in Rhode Island. Rhode Island. Harrisburg is the door deal, so come to Harrisburg because right. I'm doing a door deal there. <laughs> uh, movies next. And, uh, you know, something we wanted to play Friday. We ran out of time. The Uncle Whip and the Nephew. What? Oh, also yeah, that a one. gang member? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Making believe he was a gang member? That's absolutely real? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. The research I've That's done. That's good. Yeah. Yep. So we'll do that as well. All right. Okay, I, excuse me. Oh, She's making sure everyone's listening to you on the Opie and Anthony show. She's a good girl. What am I going to do? She's uh, promoting your website, patriceoneal.com. She's a good Big girl. Big Mama Prods on Twitter. She is a good girl. I don't deserve her. I don't deserve my girl. She's a good. I turned a hoe into a housewife, and she's a good girl. <laughs> she's a beautiful woman, man. She's she really better, is beautiful. She's better than I deserve. She's definitely beautiful. But she's still a cunt. <laughs> God, is she a cunt? God, is she retarded and she's insane. She hates women. She hates men. That's every but, but we get, but, but she's come to grips with it. Yeah. And uh, she's a good goddamn girl, man. I don't know that you got you got to weigh out whether they're really good and it compensates for how batshit crazy they are, because uh, every every fucking girl. I've ever known. It's insane. Is crazy. Do you know, between my marriage and my second one, I had like 10 or 14 years off. And I see comics do girls are out of their mind, this and that. And I go, oh, please. You know, really? And then uh, being with Bonnie, 
it's like you're going, really? That's why you say, really? 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 I'm trying, really? You're yelling at me because I'm eating my dinner last night? I, I ate the whole salad? You're saying, calm down with my addictive behavior because I ate my salad? Who's little, this? Bonnie, they're just crazy. They find, it's what crazy. She, what does she say? Well, I like to eat. Uh, and she's like, let's get Bonnie on the phone. He no, broke no, no, it down no. that he, all he was doing was eating a salad. There was so much more going yeah, on. Well, I was picking off their plates, too. After Patrice said what he said, I can't listen to anything you said. Now I need the oh, whole story. Yeah. I, get Bonnie on the phone. It wasn't Voss, about a dumb little salad. Another thing Voss does. It, it, these are things <laughs> that <laughs> it's solid. If I get in a position, man, Can we tell you it on? Oh, all right, the friends I think deserve help, that it, we like one of us make it and we got to bring up the others that need help. It's going to be hard, but I'm going to have to tell Voss, stop trying to be competitive in things that you have no idea what to be competitive. Like, me and we having an off-air conversation, and we're talking about, like, how this whole you and Aunt? crew. Yeah. Mm-hmm. No, me and, and Voss. Okay. How the whole crew is kind of, we, we're for real people with for real issues. And there's a lot of up-and-coming dudes who Damn. think... That they're gangster, but they're really not. And, and but we we old now. Yeah, Voss yeah. has to come in and just say his story, like you know what I told a fucking. No, we're talking. No, yeah. listen. It's, when it's when it's you say, but it's not. Let me finish. You said it. Jump right in. No, let me finish no, because you can take like, anything. Anthony, 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 here's what we we we, we, we did an overall uh-huh. us <laughs> thing. Right. It was yeah. an overall. Thanks, Ken. Thanks, Ken. We overall us thing. Yeah, we an individual. Us, the, the oh, you know he what? comes right. in and goes, okay. here's what I did. Well, here's, what, here's the bottom line. Here's you what, what I did to this bachelorette party. No. I told them, no, no, watch no, out, no, bitches. No, no. Here's the thing. We're talking, the thing. We collectively you know are trying to be this family of... <laughs> Oh, no. fucking kill no, I was just giving it And he goes, I, I kill the Why? best. No, no, he no, always no. wants to kill. No, no. no. Here's, here's what the I did here's last the thing. week. Here's what I realized. Patrice, the I bottom line. I have to fix that. Now, here's the thing. You, you guys are have known such, each other for yeah. way too many years. Here's the bottom line. See, but you are a better person than me on the outside. But they don't know you like I know you. You're crying on the inside. I quit this. I quit that. No, you just been beaten. I'm crying on that's the outside, too. That's what he's trying to do. He's what? trying to psychologically no. break me down. No. That's, not what yeah. he, that's not his forte. Yes, it is. I've been to enough. You know I know what enough Voss's about it. forte is? <laughs> get him, Voss. <laughs> Go get him. Go get him. I don't want to break him down. I just want him crying. Go get him, Voss. <laughs> and Voss just goes, ah. Thank you. Arr! And you go down, Voss. Down. <laughs> and somebody else tries to do After he's chewed up. Then someone else moves in and goes, this is what I tried to tell you. Yeah. This is you're not going to be able to do this now. If you don't want Voss to bite you and sick you again, shut up. It's, the, then, phone, it's the phony edginess. But then the psychological oh. hammer comes in. Well, I know yeah. a lot it's about the, psychology. Do you uh, do you see what I'm saying? Have you what you do? He you, doesn't. You, I do. You're wrong. What do you, you know? Don't. What do you know he, about? He's not huh? interested in Hold psychology. On, I, 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 you're 100 wrong. What do you know I about? I read like a couple uh, right, fucking you know? uh, give us some chapters basics. in a Bradshaw book. All right, give okay. us some ba- give us a, give us some what basics of uh, psychology. I'm like, what, what, what do you want to know about anxiety, depression? Do you want to know about endless shit? Anxiety. 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 <laughs> anxiety. That's a Chinese ruler. But you can't. Ask me why a person does something, I'll tell you why. I want to just know the basics of psychology. Well, yeah. You said you know about it, so let's start well, with Psychology 101. Me, you psychology you for dummies. Give okay, me a basic, basic shit. Basic shit. Stop, stop. Let basic me shit. Wait, let me answer Opie. the question. Wait, let me just say to Opie, what you're doing is not fair, and I'm going to tell you why. Why? Here's why I'm saying what I said earlier. What? He, you see how much... There's no one that can answer that. Will you ask I can right question, now. What's the basics of psychology? Voss is so competitive and, and, and retarded at the same time <laughs> that he doesn't understand that's some, an impossible I know. thing he's yeah, trying he's, to get well, into. Well, didn't I just yeah. say give me something specific? Okay, but I will right, give right, them. That's fair enough. It's wait, very difficult to do that. But we'll slow down. It isn't. All right, go First of all, I did say give me something specific. But here's the basics. There's no specifics here's, to well, psychology. Here's the basics. Here's okay, the basics. Ahead, all right, it all breaks down on your inner child. That's what it all breaks down <laughs> on. I, okay, as an adult, you cannot be abandoned. As a child, you can, and everything and how you react 
two situations is from your childhood. Basics. There's a ba- that's there's not, a ba- why are you saying that? Because he asked me. That, why are you but saying that? I don't think that? that's even true. It no, is that's, true. That's, that's it is what true. That's where about? every. What are you talking about? I'm talking about like you everything. Just, you just your whole somebody life. Your asshole. Yeah. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> you just decided to say it's all about your childhood. Yes. And then that's what that's what yeah. But what's about your childhood? Your, your what? what behavior? What, the, 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 all your behavior comes from your fucking childhood. So if you're acting out, you basically that's like you're saying you were acting your, out as a kid. All your desire for water comes from thirst. No, that's no. <laughs> no you're, fucking, <laughs> you're, right. you're right. He's a fucking what? asshole. Like, you listen, you fucking moron. He said the basics. He said the basics. What? That's the basics. There's no, everybody has their own particular thing that you go so after. And it all stems from their childhood. Wait, wait, wait. What if you have a fine average childhood uh-huh. and then at 25 years old you suffer a trauma you have a post-traumatic stress disorder. Whatever, something happens that completely has nothing Could to you do with. Explain to him what post-traumatic okay. stress disorder uh, is. Do, by do, the way, yeah, have, doing a show with Rich. Uh, oh, <laughs> no, that, no, that's during well, then, stress well, disorder. Then, then that doesn't that's fall in the category traumatic. of basics. That is completely <laughs> all right. basic. All right, you asked for. All right, I got one. Okay. Why are you, Rich Voss, so insecure? Why? Psychologically speaking. Uh, because uh, I didn't get enough reinforcement as a kid from my parents. You know, Why? The stories you've told are blame terrific. Blame it on your parents. Terrific. Terrific. Well, you just asked me and I gave you an answer. I didn't get enough type of fucking stories you tell. What kind of stories? Like the time your mom <laughs> dragged, it, dragged it to your father's house and said, here, you take them, I don't want them. <laughs> no, that was my grandparents. Oh, your grandparents. Yeah, that's, I good don't re- want that's good reinforcement. But it's grandparents. You have abandoned sh- abandonment uh, issues. issues. That's yeah. why you're always... Yeah. That's why you're always like. Well, well why do I have insecure? Because I come into this fucking battlefield, <laughs> right? And I get twitters from the fucking fat We're listeners. We're trying to build you up. Fucking, you're fucking moron <laughs> listeners that don't even get irony. I fucking twit. I'm going out to O and A tomorrow. I'm going to dress nice. I and these fucking morons. What does it matter? You fat fucking listeners, go fucking I die. Did, and I he <laughs> won't. He and because he needs the numbers. He won't block block those. I do. I block him. You're wrong. That's where you're wrong. I block him. I just learned how to block him. There's absolutely nothing wrong with blocking you. You hear what he added at that last throwaway line? I just learned how to. But he didn't say he doesn't. I just said I block people. I blocked three people yesterday. I'm on your side again because I followed you on Twitter yesterday, and you did make a joke like I'm going O and A and I'm going to dress nice or something like that. And Obviously a silly, dumb, throwaway little joke. No big deal. And people were... Answering him like he was serious. They're fucking idiots. Like the other I'm night, like, I did. Can't you pick up on the fact that the, I was a throwaway? The, the line? other night, they don't get it. The other night at the show, this guy comes up, goes, "You fucking killed her oh. right on the radio." Listen, I kill on the fucking radio, you morons. I fucking ten for ten the last fucking. This is but these another, fucking, uh, no, 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 this is you don't another, deal with it. You don't deal with it. I'll what give you. You, you don't deal with these fucking animals, these listeners. Rich, well, I, they're I, my only what? fans, really. Like, what do you mean? <laughs> deal with them, Rich. I'll give you eight out of ten. That's still no. good, though. Go over the fucking go over. Eight out of ten. No. Ten out of ten. I've seen Today was my slow stuff day. about Patrice on Twitter. Huh? I've seen ridiculous stuff. And did I smell fans. anything wrong? <laughs> I got something right, for Rich. I, I, I got something for Rich. What? Hi, Mommy. Hi, Mommy. This might help you. Hi, Mommy. This might help you. Hi, Mommy. This is for Rich. Hi, Mommy. This is for you. I know I'm in the same way, Mommy. I love you, but I really only want to see you for the past oh. hours and then it seems like everybody can. <laughs> Hi, Mommy, I'm home. I, I told you I was coming this year. Hi, I don't really get so big rich, Mom. I'm home. I got a haircut. I love you, Mommy. I love you, too, son. I'm not. Uh, she goes, I love you, too, son. Please don't disappoint me. That was the second thing I've done. I love you. And I've been praying, Mommy. What's going on? Oh, Rich, I think it's that phone's on. Hi, Mommy. Why did that Hi, bother you? Hey, Why did that bother you? Who wants to listen to that shit? We're breaking down some psychology here's the thing. right now. Here's the thing. Why did I, that bother you? I'm going to tell headphones you real off. quick. I broke the chain of dysfunction in my family. That's all. So you did I. Say, okay, I didn't say High five you across okay, the room. I broke the chain of dysfunction. Boom, Boom. me and all your right. brother. Uh, I got, you know what? Wait, and, what? Uh, 
And I'm what? talking about both of you. What? You have to break the chain. Uh, dysfunction. You too did? Shit. Listen. Yes. <laughs> Fuck yeah, I did. Listen, you don't pay attention can't to me in my personal that. life. You yeah. don't know the first thing about me. I got me. all my, my kid's first tooth that I pulled. Her first <laughs> haircut. I, I got, Bonnie goes, why do you got your kid's uh, first baby shoes? Okay, because they were the first, and they were, that's the, okay, I, I went to, let's say my father's house, and I was doing a TV show years ago, and they needed a baby picture. I go, do you got any pictures? I mean, I think he had two. Let me tell you what this show has done to Vaughn. Okay, <laughs> not, oh, oh, here comes Dr. Patrice. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't blame him. I don't fucking blame him. It's such a war zone <laughs> that a man who should be speaking much slower and clearer <laughs> just rambles. Shit. Like, he's so talking get in faster than his brain yes. is able to. I, I want to hear this because you're like, you know what he doesn't have confidence in? He doesn't have confidence in a point that might not have to be funny. So, yeah, yeah. so no, if you say, if he says please. something about his kid's baby shoes, that's interesting. Why do you save your kid's baby shoes? Because your right? mom didn't save yours? No, Who cares? No, they're no, the first. Not. He says, yeah. why do you save? I was listening. Why do you save their first baby shoes? Because they were the first. And then he moves on. Like, okay, you, so, have, you have to fucking explain yourself. No, you, you two go, I broke the chain of blah, blah. And you gave an air high five. That's you right, don't. man. And <laughs> nobody knows what the fuck you're talking about. That's because you're just you can't fine. just say only, that. Only fucking we people that we know grew what we're up talking in dysfunction about. understand and that shit. What the fuck you talking right, about? Uh, really? I'll tell you. I broke the okay. motherfucking I chain of okay. destruction. Okay. I, 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 listen, listen, Patrice, okay. to get Me serious too. for a moment, I realized in my behavior, I was doing the same fucking horse shit my mom did and, yeah. and her mom did to her, and finally you wake up one day and go, I'm going to do it different. Yeah, well, I'm gonna break That's it down breaking like the this. fucking shit. I'll break it down so you understand that. In a, in a black neighborhood, okay, uh, a mom will have three slow, child. Slow down for a second. Okay. This is where I grew up. Can we this promise not to cut off? No, no. No one cut him right. off. Did, can we promise? You want, now slow okay. down and explain this. And this is where I With, grew up, so this is what I know. And within 30 seconds, the okay. wheels will fall okay. off and go. Let's because say, I'm going to tell you why. He's going to pretend like this wasn't trying to be funny. No, this is not being I funny. I want to hear you I'm say a serious, say, slow story. I'm, I'm going to tell side. you to break the chain of dysfunction. Where I grew up and I used to hang on Rudy's porch and hang out with Rudy and Pee Wee and his family. And the rest okay. of the fucking <laughs> fat Albert <laughs> game. Yes, yes. <laughs> you see? You can't explain Fucking asshole. Go ahead. Go ahead. You hung out with Rudy on the porch. Rudy and Pee Wee and the family. Theo and, and, and fucking okay, and, and Claire. And I get it. Go ahead. <laughs> okay. Okay. So and mush okay. mouth. All right. So and the mom. Vaughn, she like a school in June. No class. Go ahead. I'm with you. Go ahead, Vaughn. Right, so let her rip. Let her rip. And let's say one of the family members wasn't working and was getting government assistance. Let's say. Then the daughter grew up and saw her mom didn't have to work. And had kids and got government assistance, so did she. And then her kids grew up and got government assistance because her mother and grandmother did. So one of the, one of the people, somebody in that chain has to break the dysfunction. <laughs> Do you know, somebody, okay. has to, somebody in that, in that family. <laughs> Do you know what I'm saying? What I'm saying is, you're bad, bro. Is, you know, you're, you're, <laughs> but you're told <laughs> Fucking, you're the worst. <laughs> Boss, on your side again. Fucking you set fucking rich man. up. Shut the fuck up. Don't don't you. you really thought that Patrice wanted to hear this shit. I, I set you up so I bad. Did. I did. <laughs> what did you see? It breaking down. It's just, what I'm it's saying just, is, like, what I'm saying what is, get a job. Get a job. God damn, Patrice. I'm getting chest pain. I was, trying, pain. I was oh, trying, trying to fucking listen to this bullshit. I know. <laughs> you know what I'm saying. The listen. daughter broke the chain of... Because the, she got the a job. The grandma, the ma, that she broke... You're what right. Is fucking... yep. Didn't you know where that was going to, what like, the damn. second he started saying it? Because it's so just pat and... Oh, my God. Like, okay, I'm... all right, so... One dad rapes his kid. That kid rapes his kid. Someone's going to have to stop raping. <laughs> okay? We, Is that easier? Get, okay. What? Dad, dad was a drunk. The kid was a drunk. His kid was a drunk. The next like kid said, saying, I'm not going to drink. It's, that's breaking the it's chain like of this funk. This is a duck that doesn't fly. Because his, his oh, father flies. Well, I'm sorry. <laughs> you know, and his father flies. <laughs> listen, but I'm not going to fly because well, I want to walk. Okay. It's the fucking okay. Okay. shit. It's his shit. Like, what are you fucking stupid. talking about? But the, the question. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Now, he's now, a see, see, was, no, he's a Wait, Tell me Patrice's fucking a, point oh, that you're oh, talking no. way too fast. Slow down. Take a break. Take a break. I know. I'm getting touch pain. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Please don't die in our studio. Explain break the fucking chain of dysfunction. What do you want? E equals MC square? It's easy. It's pretty fucking simple. And why are we talking about breaking chains in front of Patrice? That's not nice. Yeah, okay. There it goes. Okay. Wait a minute. Well, here's what the problem is. Here's the issue. It's self. It's a self awareness that breaks the chain. My mo- look. Yeah. Do I believe that yeah, kids have- should get beat? Yes. I didn't like getting beat, right? Mm. But I'm not gonna say my mother's beatings. Sometimes she she hit me, and it was fucking not necessary. It was based on her youngness, and it was based on not. But but did I deserve an ass whooping? I used to be an arsonist. I burn shit. I didn't know this. Yeah, yeah they're called bridges. <laughs> oh, shit, man. Oh, yes. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it continues to this day, but, no, but I tell you, that one was good. That was oh, okay. Good. Let's so analyze well, it. Let's yeah. analyze it. Don't worry. It's very good. So we'll mother, back it up with a bomb so in my, within 15 oh, seconds. because he's, he's greedy. Yes. So, <laughs> and he'll try to tell his story about, well, well, I was an arsonist. Okay, there you I, go. I, I, All right. I burned and drowned things. Like, he'll, right. he'll try to say right. something. Go in. He'll after. try to say something go. better than this. All right, go after my, <laughs> go after my handicap. <laughs> so, go after my handicap, <laughs> diet drinker. <laughs> yeah. See? So, See? I want to know I'm about saying, the, you I, being I an arsonist. I used to just love watching shit burn. Well, a lot of us All did when we were growing up. But I burned, you know. Did I, you go in the woods and burn some shit a little bit here and there? Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, then why was it a problem? Hold on. Why was it a problem? Why was it a problem? Yes, because I think a lot of kids go in the woods and burn some shit, so, and hopefully it's a controlled uh, fire. I, I don't. I, the, the, the psychology of why I like to see things burn, I don't know. I enjoy burning. But how shit. bad did it get with you? Like, and got, I have told our stories how, over here's the years. Here's how it got bad. We both had a fire in our childhood that got out of hand, but in general, here's how it got bad. I burned a young, <laughs> me and my mother, a young black woman's kitchen floor. You and your mom burned it together? I, no, I burned it and tried to hide it with a rug. That was, <laughs> I, I burned, a, it was plastic floors. Yeah. No money to get it. You know, if you fuck up your own house, the landlord ain't coming to fix your own burning. <laughs> no. I burned up screens, like the screens, where you light the screens on fire, You they didn't burn. What they did was crackled. just charred, and then you could just poke your fingers through it. And I, I, I did that shit, so I finally burned up the floor in the house. You didn't have toys? And my mother, yeah, but my mother fucked me up so bad, that beating. But, you know, at the time, I tease her about that beating, but at the time, okay, I deserved that. Because if my mother said, hey, man, you know, fires are bad. And see, fires can kill and <laughs> yeah. like some bullshit. I still, I'd be like, what the fuck is wrong with this ass? She's telling me fires burn? So she beat, what she did was beat fear into me. <laughs> so I had a healthy fear until I realized that, what the fuck was I doing? So she had to beat my ass to put the, for, for practical reasons. Not to convince me that fucking fire was wrong. She had to beat me because, because fucking, oh, I just did it. That so you did it again, but that's what I'm saying. So yes, it was a practical fear. It but, didn't stop uh, you from wanting to So if she to burn your shit. face on the stove, would that have been okay too? Yeah. Yeah. Because, because if, because okay. somebody else's house, would have been on fire. Yeah. You would I would have escalated you would have kept to going, right? Yes. Now, absolutely. A couple things. When she beat you, did you feel like you could have taken her? But you had to take the beating because psychologically you knew you yes. were fucked if you didn't have and her And you know what? Life? The day I realized that half of it was fear was that when at 13. And she's called me. And I didn't come. And she hit me with a broomstick in front of my friends. Oh, shit. And I realized it didn't hurt. And then she realized mm. that it didn't hurt. That's a big moment. And then she but never yeah. hit me again. So after that, every lesson I learned was on the job training. Because I didn't have a father that could punch me in the chest. <laughs> there was no upgrade. It was her yeah, mommy yeah. arms hitting me with a stick. And I went, what? That's what happened. My I, dad I, and I looked at her like, why yeah. would you do that? Why would you do that? In front of my friend. What were you doing? My friends are sitting here. Oh, shit. And then that was it. But I would never, to this day, like, I never, it was never a threatening thing. It was like she realized her arm, it was done. But it got me up to that fucking point. I fucked up a lot after that, but she did what she can. And I, I believe in ass beatings because the problem with kids, my girl's kid, okay, she thinks she has a say. 
She thinks <laughs> she's a human fucking being, and she's not. She's a thing. <laughs> she's a, a thing. fucking thing, and she should shut her fucking mouth. But she always is like, I got a question though, and then why? But why? Shh, be quiet. Why? Cause I fucking said so. I said, I was and you're scared not a person. Of every single adult when I was a kid. Yeah, fuck yeah. Because I thought they all had permission to punch me in the And they pretty much oh, did. Enough, they did back yeah, then. Listen, you know what? Back then, back then, you know what? That's fucking ridiculous because it's not your kids do have now a, here's, kids Now, do here's, know. How, no. here's how why he don't think. He started the whole thing where it's no, back as because, a child. No. That was his psychological but stop, profile. No, right. And now he just like, counts his name back now then. He just back. So, okay. His no, no, own no, no, no. Listen, theory. listen, listen, listen. You're saying, so you're saying, you're right. It just started. So you're saying a kid has no say in anything. Then that's going to fuck the kid up when they get older and they have no confidence because you didn't let him talk. Okay. If you're saying you are a thing and you're not allowed to fucking <clears> give an opinion or a feeling, then that kid is going to grow up but fucked mom, up. No. I, that kid's yeah, no, going to grow up. Said, first that of all, kid's going to grow up not shooting up a school. No, and your mom yeah. probably Because I said don't far. shoot up a school. No, no, you're saying oh, you're, you're a thing and you don't have Rich. a... Yeah. Rich, uh, what? Hold on, hold on. You're my property. No. The difference yeah. between you two is I think your mom took it too far. No, And that's no, the problem. No, no, you My mom took it too far. You don't fucking get it. You don't I get do it. get it. Most. No, you don't get it because when you're saying <laughs> your do- your girlfriend's daughter mm-hmm. has no, you can't don't shut the fuck up. Don't no, ask. Don't tell no, me. You're no, a no, thing. I said shut the you fuck just up. said you don't have. You're I'm a saying thing. that for for fucking an extra bit of uh, seasoning to this fucking adult radio program. But and, and when me. she starts talking, I tell her, look, you listen up to a point because. I'm telling you to because kids do not have the rationale to listen to you. They don't understand shit. You buy them something because you're supposed to. You do this because <laughs> you're supposed to. If you go look, go to sleep now. Why do I have to go to sleep? Because if you're tired, because I fucking said so. <laughs> that's so true. The fuck is wrong with you, that's folks? Obvious. No, that's obvious. That's why obvious. you only have girls, too. You, you, you mm. just, you got weak sperm, too. You don't got no boy sperm. <laughs> you got no You got kids. little girls and shit. Because I pull out. I like it on the chest. I pulled out. I she want, put it I back. Don't want my son, I don't want my son to go through what I went through. As <laughs> hey, and I don't, he's and breaking I don't want, the chains. And I don't yeah. want no daughters. He just broke the chains. Because no. my daughter probably, she, God will curse me. My daughter have ten pussies. <laughs> <laughs> on a shoulder and neck, and they're all working. All being used at the just, same fucking time. Just because so. I've been so horrible shit. to women and shit. That's great. Uh, Patrice, by the way, getting back to the arsonist thing, I always thought you were uh, a good actor, but I guess not. Arrested mm-hmm. Development, you played an arsonist. Oh, yeah, from the little fucking... See, yeah. I remember that fucking show. I loved that fucking <laughs> show, and you were part of it. What you burn down? The banana stand? The banana stand. Yeah. Oh, yeah, oh, right. <laughs> yep. I don't know. See, Rich, uh... uh you are, you bring up the, oh. the early thing, yeah. But then, it, it's not always about like you're, you're right. And we all right. grew up because some that. people have great childhoods and they become and fucked, fucked up. up. They become fucked but up. We all yeah. grew up so so because have great childhoods and no discipline. And you saw Master and Commander with Russell Crowe. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Movie that great scene where he had to talk to this guy because he's trying to be buddies yeah, with the yeah. fucking crew. And Russell Crowe grabs him and goes, "You." They want a fucking leader. <laughs> they want a leader. You can't fucking be friends with these mother. You can't be buddy palsy wowsies with your fucking kids because they're they're abusive, and they're naturally abusive. They're not even manipulative. They just go this punk. He lets me do anything. No, that's wrong. That's <laughs> you. That's you. All kids aren't like that. All kids they aren't are, like they that. are like that. Are you no, pals to your daughters? They're rich? No, I'll tell they're them do this, abusive, do that, do this, and they will take but, advantage of, of every little thing. Well, no, that's human and, nature. Will take a advantage kid, until a kid has something to say. That's fucking human that's nature. That's worth fucking hearing. I do like to shut the fuck yeah, up. Yeah, right. That's <laughs> twenty five years and above. <laughs> that's not a kid. Anybody under twenty five. When I thought when I thought I was being abused. I've, as you grow up and you realize things, you go, wow, thanks, mom. Thank you. Mm-hmm. And you did me a favor by fucking not letting, because I, I was smart enough to know what's right and wrong. Of course. I just did it. I just did it. Yeah. So I yeah. had to have some way I, to not do it. Here are the beating. I, I like the Patrice <clears throat> mom, too. I finally met her. 
Yeah, she's cool. Backstage she's she's all right, man. That's she's fucked. She's all right. Hey, listen, this leads to the video that we want to play Friday. I'd love to know where you were going to go, Vaughn. Yeah. Huh? I'd love no, to know where you were going to go. At the you barbecue, were you were going to get it. You were, let only me tell you what Vaughn said to my right. mother when he first met her. He said, you look like Roz G. <laughs> no, that was the first thing. <laughs> <laughs> Roz is Roz <laughs> to my mother look like this Roz. big black girl comedian. You look like Roz G. Uh, that was the first time I met her. That was the last barbecue. <laughs> <laughs> that was the last barbecue. But that's the charm of Vaughn. Oh, my God. Yeah. She sh sort of does. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, can we play this video? Oh, fuck, nigga. <laughs> you fucking Patrice, sons of bitches, Patrice man. looks like Roz, <laughs> I was too scared to go with that, but all right. <laughs> Put a little wig on, Patrice. Oh, shit. It's not that. I think that's why you. Did, why did I open myself up to that one? You know, and there's a Danny's fucked up. Everybody fucked up on the show. I wouldn't think to just look up Roz G. Danny. Of that wasn't even my mind Danny to get a picture of Roz G. G. It's two seconds. You can't get it up there fast enough. Hey, it leads to the video that we want to play Friday where uh, a father disciplines his kid right on the internet. Yeah, I want to hear this. And forces him to put it on his Facebook. That's his uncle, by the way. Uncle, I'm sorry. Uncle. Um, <clears throat> but uh, what, what's the backstory? This kid was uh, being a fake gangster online or something. Yeah, he was. I, I don't know the details, uh, but apparently, as the story goes, he was posting stuff, you know, that he was in a gang or there was some kind of gang. He was a gang banger and thing, or he was he was just portraying uh, something this, he this, was this persona that he wasn't. And, 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 and the uncle got word of it and said, "Turn on your fucking webcam." That uncle looks like a motherfucker right there. You haven't too. seen this video yet? No. <laughs> oh, it's great. First of all, how's so, that guy on TV with that lip? Oh, Jesus. <laughs> what was he? <laughs> Trent Franks is a congressman. How the fuck, OG? He got caught. How miserable is that guy? He got caught on a fence as a kid. It, it's, yeah, Trent Franks. That's a hair lip, the right? Republican oh, from Arizona. That was fixed. I thought I that was you, a key. I bet you that guy is not to be fucked with that yeah, guy. Yeah, he might have some oh, fucking, boy. something happen in the nom. Oh. <laughs> I don't know what happened there. Oh. Wow. Wow, Gabriel Giffords is looking all right. Oh. No, that's a uh, file for the oh, oh, oh. oh. That's one of the things, like, you know, there's things you can't overlook with a broad. <laughs> that's a it. A hair lip broad. It's like, <laughs> I overlook a missing arm before I overlook <laughs> yeah, a I hair fucking I think hair you're right. lip broad. I think man. you're fucking right. Oh, uh, shit. Let's play this video, though. So, so the uncle gets word that the, the, the nephew there is fucking doing some bad shit on the internet that. It is not true, and uh, kind of forces uh, his little nephew to come clean. Yeah, yeah let's uh... puts on the webcam and does this. <laughs> this with all y'all people on Facebook, y'all parents, y'all need to stop all these senseless fucking crimes, all this gang bang shit. This my fucking nephew right here. He ain't no gang member. We don't come from that shit. You, you tell him all that bullshit, but all that, all that fake, uh, all that thing. But his ass whooping ain't gonna be fake. Oh shit! Get that on Facebook. That kid, that kid is, is going to be now. fine for the rest of his life. <laughs> yes. He's going to be a NASA. He's going to be a fucking lawyer. But the second thing is the uncle should have said in there, I know the motherfucking gangster in this family. Because <laughs> yeah. that nigga ain't it's a shit. Gangster. No, it's He's a like fucking that. killer. Yeah, why didn't he put a shirt and on for the, the video? He took his shirt off. Right. And then he goes, if you raise your hand, I'll stomp your motherfucking ass. <laughs> yeah. So he knows some gangster <laughs> shit. He know, he that's, <laughs> so that's probably where the nephew got it from. And he's holding him with one hand and just beating him with the other hand. He was copying his uncle the whole right. time. I learned yeah, it from yeah. you, okay? <laughs> He's beating him with a belt. Inside His pubic hair is pretty much fucking... Right now, that kid's going to break the chain out. of dysfunction. Oh, and Jesus. that kid is big enough to whoop that oh, little yeah, yeah, small... Yeah. 
he is scared shit of that's his uncle. That's psychological fear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, you know what the thing is? That strap ain't hurting him. He's scared the uncle's going to start punching him in the face. He's just scared. He's scared. Because right that there. strap don't he hurt. Scared him straight. And 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 what he going to do when he go out there and they go, yo, let's go. He's scared to death of his uncle. Yeah. How do you think he dealt with it with his fucking posse there? You punk ass motherfucker with your uncle. They might kill his uncle. They might kill his fucking uncle. Do you think he got made fun of at school? The next oh, day? He, he totally God. did. We all just but then he's there. like, fuck you, you go to my uncle, motherfucker. He ain't gonna kill himself. Yeah, I think he saves no. face because his uncle's a scary motherfucker. That's that, I think he saves face my, at school. Yeah. One of my favorite parts of this video is how the uncle's really scary, but there's a big giant oriental fan on the wall. Is it really? <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's great. And he's beating his nephew. <laughs> ah, yeah, look like at the big fan. It's probably covering a fucking fist hole. Yeah, that's <laughs> punching something that's, through the face. That's, that's, that's ghetto construction, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> and another favorite part of the video is uh, you could tell that some that somewhere in the, in the ruckus, uh, a phone got knocked over because at the end, the tail end of the video you could hear that the phone's been off the hook sound. The off the hook sound yeah <laughs> don't tell me tell them like he yeah, tell them tell that <sighs> motherfucker but this guy's an internet star now now the uncle's gonna be interviewed well, I just thought it was necessary. Shut, yeah. shut the fuck. And Go into his. I, I, I saw the gang, uh, the violence, and uh, we must silence the violence. And uh, he's gonna be all fucking preaching and shit. Is it? Is it auto tuned? Oh, it'll, put, it'll be auto tuned. Yeah. Oh, yeah, such a black those, house too with a fake plant. Those, <laughs> 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 you know the black. It's got. You can't see. There's some horrible picture on the wall. You know it. <laughs> I grew up with the same house, like wooden spoons. I, like, <laughs> I had the wooden spoons hanging it up on the wall. It was classy growing up, though. But it was wooden spoons. What was the wooden spoons about? <laughs> hanging up on the wall, the just giant wooden something. spoon and just, fork. It, something to break over. Like walls. fucking hanging on the wall in the kitchen. Oh really? Yeah. Martin yeah, Luther yeah. King, Malcolm X, and Bruce Lee Bruce, picture. Bruce Lee was got Bruce had to Lee. be there. Bruce Lee. <laughs> it was really, it really was a way to live. We had the oh, old Jesus fucking Christ. guinea pictures. What happened? The oh, fucking oh, pictures of Venice painted in thick oil paint. You're talking about last week at your house? <laughs> yeah, oh, oh, I'm oh, trying to buy one. Uh, go ahead, Troy. Hey, how you doing? I just wanted to comment. I think I heard Opie uh, say that the guy's pubic hair was popping out. Yeah. Nice call, homo. Yeah, that's great. Oh, yeah, say anything else? Homo. Is he serious? Well, yeah, really? Because what you have to deal with it. I just read, I just read ten assholes Twitter. that don't even know how to fucking do a funny line. The fact is, the, the uncle's fucking pants are uh, pretty much yeah, that's around the, his ankles. Asshole. That's the point of saying Listen, pubic hair. Right, yeah, his yeah, pubic yeah. hair is sticking out as he's trying to give his stupid nephew a life lesson. It's you a know, contrast I, there. I just read ten Twitters. I'm not going to lie, and this is serious. And I hope you guys don't take this wrong. You have the dumbest fan base. Fuck them. That's Sometimes. coming from boss. And that's coming from me. <laughs> but just no, the ones small, that play, can we, can we small fix percentage I know. Yes. that unfortunately I know. have a big but voice But they think out they're there. funny. Can, 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 can I be fair? There's a lot of non-verbal... Uh, yeah, yeah, fans. yeah, yeah. I know. I mean, a lot. Of I fans, wish they were more verbal. But no, they got they, they because they. I they, wish those those people with a brain had this. Here's, here's more to say on Twitter. There's a and there's a else. there's a few that just, you know, they just. They, but look at it's very rare. Like on Twitter, it's very rare. I get a real foul one because I will block yeah. you. Yeah, you just block so you better you better make it good. Yeah. Here's, here's and this is just about me it. now. It is oh. about the ones that come to the shows are fucking. They're smart. They're fan. They know calm. They come oh, to the later. show. It's the ones that don't. No, the ones that sit there and think. All right, can you, Obi? Can you tell them to slow down? I know. Right. I, I'm not no. gonna interview. Just go ahead. Just slow down. Bro. Okay. All right. Should I? What? What level should I talk? I, I got it, Rich. Don't get, stand up right now. Yeah. Stretch a little. Just stretch and relax. Just relax, man. And we're gonna watch it. I'm trying oh. to. Help. We just go with it for the show. Right. Go with it for the show. I've been doing stretch. that for fucking ten years. <laughs> stretch. Get get a little relax. Okay. He said, stand up, Rich. <laughs> that was in bed. Come on, folks. That was good. That was good. That was good. And he looked at his drink as his as his. Uh, <laughs> was that stock material? Oh, stock. No. Trying. His, 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 his uh, Oh, what do you call that when you do that in comedy? You're uh, what is fucking Kool Aid? Do you uh, want to go there? Uh, uh, make, no, it's a, no. make people laugh. Oh Jesus! <laughs> shut up, you fucking board up. Uh, what the fuck is your 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 call or uh, whatever? Anyhow, keep trying. Something no, there's something comedy. <laughs> when you, you know, like after a punchline, people do their cigarette. Or I get do, it, but this is, I think I mean, it would, just, yeah. a, just a word but for it. But you shouldn't hold a, a up this long for that. Yeah, I know. Crutch is fine, bro. No, it's not a crutch. Okay. A crutch, I think, is pretty accurate. Huh? Yeah, it would probably be a crutch. All right. 
Well, you reach for the no, drink after no, you know you just called. killed it's with the wine. It's it. on purpose. You do Listen it like as a okay. sit back down. Tag. I think you're relaxed. Like a Pratt like like fall? Pratt, like a, like a, uh, 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 now we're playing charade. Gimmick? Uh, you started the game, I bitch. Know, don't try to, <laughs> don't try to act <laughs> like you was trying to. He's nervous as all fuck. I'm not nervous Listen, at all. Go ahead, man. A thousand man. miles an hour. Yeah, I'm just go ahead. What I'm saying about the fans, the ones, and probably with you and you and Bobby, the ones that trash or this or that, they, they fucking, they don't come out. They don't support. Or, you know what I mean? Like, there's guys that come to the show. Yeah. There was a bunch this weekend, and they, they get it. These fucking guys think they're funny. They'll twit. All right? You're, you're, you're twitting stuff that has been said on this show 10,000 times. Exactly. What I'm saying is be yes. fucking original or funny. But I will stay in, 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 in defense of a few. It, the, the way this show is. We are very, very mean to each other, but it's it's scientific almost. Some people don't get. I tell you, okay, very lady trucker. Oh God! Ugh. Like, but she she wants to get it. Like you can feel like she doesn't want to just go. Bruh. She de she wants to get how to do what they think is being done on the show. I'm just saying. There's a lot of people that don't get. You know, Kevin from Kinetic, I think. He gets how to be mean because it's half of it. This shit is funny. And that's what I'm saying. It's like a lot of guys, we go, oh, you're a faggot looking at. It's like, it's yeah. like, don't it, like you're waiting for me to say something. Do something that, it, that that compels you to talk. You know what he context. Motherfucker. Yeah, but here's the, context. This thing, lady trucker. Listen, I don't want to know how to put a pallet with a forklift on the back of a truck. You fucking deliver what you got to do and listen, okay? Because there's no reason that they should try to be fucking funny or this, because they're not, that's not what they fucking Jesus, do. Jesus, Ross, I thought you was fucking let people have it. The... No, fuck them. <laughs> no, they're not. Jesus no. Christ, I know, you just said you're a nice guy. I said I was a nice yeah, guy? you just said, hey, when let I... people fucking say what they feel. Don't tell them they can't be funny. Because they're not. They're not. We, I, in, some, in real life. Are, in real, no, in real fucking life. At a party, do you want to listen to anybody else's dribble unless they're a doctor or lawyer? I'm mommy. I'm mommy. I'm mommy. I'm mommy. So, <laughs> again. Why can't you listen to that? Isn't that bullshit? <laughs> you think that's hurting him? Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. hurting him. That's, oh, yeah. that's, that's fucking hurting him. Yeah, there's it's so much deep right there. You now. Jeez. All right, there is you, a couple. You wish you could go up to your mommy and do that, right? And I'll get tell you what. Hi, mommy. I do. But <laughs> Hi, mommy. She's, Hi, she's mommy. drooling. She won't know it's me. Hi, mommy. Oh, shit. Jesus. She doesn't know. Man. All right. Well, I, we're I'm going take... in tomorrow to tell her fucking happy uh, holidays. She doesn't know. <laughs> I didn't go over Christmas. <laughs> She's lost it. It's like, why is this? I, I, I'm halfway <laughs> thinking, <laughs> hey, man, stop teasing Rich. And I'm halfway going to... What the fuck he is deserves it. He fucking deserves it. Uh, Steve from Bayshore gets it. Yeah. Get some guys that but get we're getting it. so inside because Who was the I, have guy to, that, I have to listen to yeah, Somebody used like, to call know, from Bayonne that was great. Bayonne. Uh, who, who was the guy? There's some guys that get any, it, you know. I'm, yeah, I'm yeah, talking yeah, they got it. Twitter, yeah. Twitter people from, that follow the show. Yep. Uh, people that, you know, we all got our fans that are I just wish the people not that the show fans. Right. And then this but but the, the guys, we're talking about the guys who are the show fans and they they, they have... And, they get it. Yeah, All right, wait, we're going to take one last break, and then we'll finish funny. up. With, the, with, the, with the movie that Rich thought was great, I want to talk about True Grit because Patrice had a great tweet about that. Maybe other movies. I don't know. And some well, other listen, shit. Where are you going to be, Rich? I'm going to be in uh, Rhode Island, Providence this weekend at... Uh, Catch a Roger Star. Those guys that come out all the time, they know what they're doing. And Harrisburg next week, the Comedy Zone, door deal. I need hundreds of people. <laughs> this is the Opie and Anthony Show. The Opie and Anthony Show on the virus. Serious XM. And the Grand. And now, and now the Opie and Anthony Show on the virus. Serious XM. XM. No, 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 no. True Grit was number one at the box office. I mention that because Big Mama Prods on Twitter, a great one to follow, really, is Big Mama Prods. He, he writes some funny-ass shit. You and know That what? would be Patrice O'Neill. I had a complaint about uh, some of the comics just using Twitter to, to plug gigs. It's, 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 uh, it's annoying. Like, comics, are funny guys, like Jimmy Norton, fucking guy, tweets funny shit all the time mm -hmm. and then it's like oh i'll be at this gig i'll be doing this 
Some comics, though, it's just it's like just I had to tell Joe in. DeRosa. I had to tell him. I go, I'm, I'm going to stop following you because all you do is, is plug gigs. That's because well, he barely gets them. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh. And, and, it's, and Joe's and, a funny guy. He should be able to tweet some when shit. You, when you, Joe's smart. you put yourself out there to be yeah. ridiculed. Right, right. Some some people are tender. <laughs> They're very tender. Joe's, Joe's a sweetie puss. He really is. He's a sweetie guy. He's a sweet guy. He tries to, you know, he rolls in this mean world. But Joe's a, <laughs> Joe's a honey child. He's a funny he's motherfucker. He's a tickly motherfucker. He really is. <laughs> he is funny, man. You know, because he's Egyptian <laughs> and shit. You know, them Egyptian but, people, don't, they don't have no fucking sense of but, humor. Really. But the beauty of Twitter, like, if you don't have confidence in a line you're about to tweet, I, yeah. Sometimes I'll tweet while I'm like, I don't know if this is going to go well, and I'll just turn all my shit off for two hours. It's all there. <laughs> and then by the time I get back, they're on to other stuff, and they're not going like, to comment on the bomb I just tweeted. Mine's well, always nasty but, but, or but, confrontational. But you know what, though? <laughs> my only tweet. <laughs> go fuck yourself. Yeah, I, enjoy, fuck you. I enjoy my, my Twitter followers because I enjoy the fact that they understand me. I, mm -hmm. I, I, it's a privilege and an honor to be in contact with me. On yes. any level, right? It, it is. I don't. I don't give a fuck. We're not the same. We, I'm. I'm uh, in show business, right? People know me. You know what I mean? The I business have a, of show. It's. I mean, you, for real. Yeah, you get you recognized. Just, you it's get... like having a phone number, and be, and you go, wait, did somebody call? It's like somebody calls you and go, you're a fat fuck, and I hope you die. And you go, like, oh. hey, I'm changing my phone number. I don't. <laughs> yeah, how'd you don't get my that. number? You, these people have my number. Twitter's mm -hmm. that, that's, Big Mama Prize is my phone number. So you call me, dude. You don't have to be pleasant, because I'm not a pleasant, but you have to be in my fucking realm of yeah. pleasant my shit. Don't be on your own shit. God, you just nailed it. Oh. Big Mama Prize is your fucking that's phone number. OP Radio number. is my fucking and, cell phone. And people can maybe get one call in. If you if you block them, like they at least have one call, make it good. They can make to you, <laughs> and you only can make it. And if you're stupid, you can't use those 140 lines. That fuck it. No. It, boop. If you if, if, okay, after no. that 140 things, you, you're a. <laughs> Goodbye. How long does it take to block 11,000 people? <laughs> <laughs> Listen, let's go back to that quote from uh, Patrice. So True Grit finally beat out the little fuckers. At the box office, because we've decided on this show we're not playing the game. It's fuckers, little fuckers. No, I uh, this is what Patrice tweeted about True Grit. I thought it was brilliant. True Grit is the best boring movie ever made. Two hours of wow, this should suck, but it held me. Who's in True Grit? Five stars or one star? I don't, I don't know. know. I, that's a, that's a, a brilliant tweet. Mm. Uh, Jeff Bridges I, I was good. It. Oh. It was phenomenal. Look, I, I'm I'm addicted to the other than the fact they don't have niggas in none of their movies. <laughs> I'm addicted to those two brothers. Coen brothers. Those Coen brothers make great. They know films. how to make mm -hmm. I love their movies, but this one was. Afterwards, I went, huh? Hmm. What happened? This is, but it, it reminded me the same way. Uh, it hit me how I've seen Unforgiven fifty times. Yeah, and I still loved go, Unforgiven. I still go. I don't. <laughs> what what, what's the lesson I'm learning here? I don't know what this is. It's just <laughs> it's drivel, but it's fantastic. Yeah, it, True Grit was just it, the, the little girl was one of the best child performers in a yeah, movie yeah, yeah. I've ever seen. She was phenomenal. Yep, really what she good. played this little asshole. Yeah, little this fucking little tough cunt <laughs> western. <laughs> yes, a cunt was yeah, what she yeah. was, she was really and cunty. she was excellent. Uh, yeah. Usually kids bug me in movies, uh, but she was so good. And Jeff Bridges was, uh, I, you know, he's going to get an Oscar uh, nomination. Yeah, I think so, yeah. Um, yeah. They underuse Barry Pepper. They underuse. Barry Pepper's really I mean, good. spoiler yeah. alert, motherfucker. They under they underused uh, uh, Brolin. Yeah, yeah. Um, They overuse Matt Damon. Yep. And it, it, it's just, it you was, it was un, head. it was unceremonious it was just like you know like barry peppers was supposed to be a bad motherfucker like, yeah what was and his bad motherfuckerness was it just there was... wasn't enough you're right there wasn't enough of him i tell you what it was here it is it was like watching the actual west <laughs> <laughs> the it actual was like west. watching how the west really actually was <laughs> with boring shit 
and you get shot and you need to ride really fast to the hospital. Because <laughs> the Western guns never really sh- killed you right there. You had to ride as fast as you can to the local. <laughs> to get to someone that's going to fucking it, patch it, you up. It just was strange, that move. But I enjoyed it. I, I liked it. it I thought I thought it, uh, it, it, it was very reminiscent of the old time Western. And done up like there wasn't there was an old the CGI or anything like that. It was guys in, on horses fucking having some gunfights and and smart ass remarks and shit. Uh, that's why I liked it. I fucking it was. I gotta see it. Like I, my favorite western of all time is uh, is pro is probably the good, the bad, and the ugly. It's probably Silverado. Mm, it, it, yeah, it's because good. there's a element of not the west. No, five ten mm. to whatever. To Yuma, whatever that fucking the, the remake <laughs> that you five ten to five ten to Yuma that the new you know, one that was a good one that, five ten to Yuma was yeah, you, whatever the fuck it was <laughs> God <laughs> damn was that good <laughs> he just but that would make sense in the disappointment the, the, the six fifteen to <laughs> <laughs> to, to Allentown <laughs> to Plurmore <laughs> he just just said, <laughs> what? I don't even know three the real name of the movie three now. Ten to Yuma. it was three ten oh. okay. it was it was Russell oh, did you say five ten to Yuma five, ten to Yumo. Yumo be there. I know what's, know what's great. I, over. I was watching you and Ant discuss True Grit. Uh, uh, actually, I wasn't watching you because I knew you guys had a great handle on it. I was looking at Rich to see how he would fuck it up. <laughs> well, no. And he, he did. said the good Western. But I you gave went 5'10 to Yumo. Because this is. <laughs> it was this a while ago. I haven't seen why, it in a while. This is why I swear to God I'm going to work hard. I think I'm coming out of retirement because I'm going to fuck. I'm putting Voss on because. Here's why that what that what he did. Voss <laughs> didn't prepare. He just wanted in. No, I didn't. That's so what I was did, watching to see what he would do. Time. He wants Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. to think of he because he doesn't give a fuck no, about no. the seven twelve to Schenectady. <laughs> he doesn't care. Okay, how about He's maybe not in the conversation? Why would you? Well, first of all, we really it, like True Grit, quit, quit. and we're getting ready to go into a place where. where oh Jesus! Okay, me, we're me, ready to go, me. I'm we get ready to, get to go. In we get ready don't to shut go. the fuck up. We get ready to go. But, <laughs> but we were. No, no, it's no. What he said. Yes, point. it is a good point. What he said. Transfer Jamaica to Penn Station. Five ten to Penn Station. Transfer Jamaica. <laughs> okay, here's the thing. What, what did you like about three ten to Yuma? Thank you. So what do I like one. about it? Yes, because you had to like jump well, in on it. Well, one here's now. I, I bet you don't even know what the fucking movie was about. <laughs> now, you talk about psychological. <laughs> yeah. Page one of the horseshit manual. <laughs> <laughs> horse what shit, did you like about three ten to Yuma? I didn't have. What did well, I, I, I tell you? The what best. Did I the like main about thing. About I oh no, five ten. ten. He said five ten. I'll to tell you, you the main thing. What I did like about five ten. For an hour and forty five minutes, I didn't have to talk to Bonnie. We could just sit and watch it. Nothing on that one. What I liked was... Why do you beat her up so much? Because you're the short end of the stick of that relationship. I'm the short end of every stick. <laughs> what are you doing to poor Bonnie? Yeah. She can't even defend That's herself. That's why he beats her up. <laughs> oh, here he we doesn't go. want Hold her on. to realize. <laughs> yeah, why did I let this motherfucker ruin everything? She made a giant mistake. <laughs> uh, you made a Here's giant mistake favorite. marrying Here's, Bonnie? No, she's great. Here's my favorite movie. That I've seen recently. in months recently. What I said before. Three t- no, no. Don't let them leave. No, no. Five ten to Yuma. Yeah, I don't even know if you know. What, the, what was Yuma? The, what, don't what, let him talk his way out of five ten. What, what's the Russell sin- Crowe yeah. was first of all was fucking. Get the actual synopsis of this movie. Well, uh, I'm shutting my mouth, but this motherfucker, man, go ahead. It was a while ago. Rich, in what I like. I seen Silverado no, no, no. came out in '87. Yeah. Fuck, fuck what you liked about it. What? Give in one minute. Explain five ten to Yumo to everybody. In one minute. Oh. One minute. What was the movie about? That's all I want right a now. A guy from on a mission. A what? A guy on a mission. He's not gonna, we're not going to let you off the hook. That's, <laughs> that's every movie I've ever made. Well, that's you know what? That's how I look at it. I keep things simple. What was it about? <laughs> I don't break them down. And then okay, we're, and I'll then give we're you my synopsis. Give me the actual storyline. Like, give me the storyline of 510. If I say Silverado well, is my favorite Western, I was going to go into why. why it's your favorite Western. Why? Well, because you're a Five, better man ten, than me, and you probably do. You probably do much better on par sixes. What I'm saying is... 
fucking Winter's Bone. I, can, I just saw Winter's yeah, Bone. Shut up. Now I know, and I learned par six is ridiculous. Yes. But there are courses that have par six. Yeah, like rich. two in the country. But it doesn't matter. You'll never, now you'll but never again. I did again. not poke my mouth out saying, I didn't go. Very rare. Da -da. Par <laughs> six, motherfucker. <laughs> I can't, you you know, interrupted I, and with the confidence of an asshole said, Five ten to yummy. They said. <laughs> they said. What was your? Listen. When they said, what was your favorite western? Okay. By the way, it's ten. No one asked that. You just yes, came yes. in with it. No, no. It's, he said, it's what's ten your ten favorite? right now? Okay. It's ten to ten well, right Winter's now. Winter's so. Bone. I'll tell you because I just saw what I liked. No, we're not letting you off. The, no, five I'm ten not, to you. I don't remember. All I know is I liked it. But Winter's Bone. All right. The this characters. Is, now, the characters now he's going in the movie. To the just characters. Just talk about a movie that he fucking knows. You know. Jaws. Okay, Days of Wine and Roses. It, Here's the thing. What? Winner's Bone, I know that you? movie. The, Winner's Bone, the casting in that, the what? characters. Is this a How recent did movie? We leave right. uh, you know from what? Humor. Because I have I, I have confidence enough to allow him to get past the five tenths of humor. Okay. What's this new movie? It's not new. It's on video. How, I just saw how old is it? it? It's in 2010. It's All up right, for a relatively Golden new Globes. movie. Yeah. Tell us the storyline of this movie. Winner's you like. Bone. What I like, and, and get the I'll, tell you what, line, I'll tell you what I like. No, first I'll tell you what I like. The cast, the characters, one. Oh you, my god! You you didn't even think they were actors. You thought they just picked this them up. This is stock movie them. review shit. What is the storyline of the movie that you liked that you that, saw recently that you didn't have time to forget? Huh? What's the movie about? The movie's about a girl <laughs> trying to find the truth about her dad. Okay trying to find the truth about her dad, and she's holding her family together at 17 years old, and the girl's going to win an Oscar for it, okay? Chick-flick. No, it's not. No? no I'm telling you, it's yeah, a good fucking movie. We got the storyline for that. Okay. What it's is a, the fucking movie I just about? I just told you. No, we're going with the other one now. His, uh, Winter what? Winter's Bone. And get Ryan Starr in here. He's going to play us out there. Winter's today. Bone. Yeah. Winter's Bone. I'm telling you, if you watch the movie... All right, what did you say? A 17-year-old girl? Mm. Yeah, she's trying to hold her family together. Her mom's fucking bugged out, got mental issues. The dad is fucking... I'm hungry. ...is dead I'm somewhere. I'm <laughs> dead <laughs> somewhere. <laughs> okay. <laughs> he can't listen. Boss takes the headphones off every time he can't listen to that. Right. Okay. <laughs> this, is that the real story? Patrice, would you do yeah, me the pleasure yes, of reading the real it. story? That's line, what I just which said. Which seems a little different than what Rich no. just said. Family intact. I just said that. An unflinching Ozark mountain girl hacks uh -huh. through dangerous social terrain as she hunts down her drug dealing father while trying to keep her family. Just intact. watch what watch the movie. Missed, I guess it's, he missed a few the things. I had a reason to watch the movie. Listen. First of all, he, he, enough wait, of Voss analyzing is, me. We're not Listen, analyzing you. Listen, I got Voss, a fucking seven thousand dollar Rolex. Voss, Go Voss, fuck yourself. It's he, like Voss goes. <laughs> let me tell you something. Uh, three plus three oh, well, is here, six. Here, 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 well, three plus three is ten. Yeah. And we go, Voss, it's six. And he goes, See, I see what you're doing. You're attacking me. <laughs> no, <no>. Voss, <laughs> an unflinching Ozark Mountain girl. Yeah. Th what you said made me sick, and I'm not gonna go see it. Hunts down. You hunts down her hunts drug down. dealing father <laughs> while trying to keep her family intact. You're the reason I I don't want him to change Huck Finn. Cause of what? Cause of oh nothing. Oh the. <laughs> <laughs> I to, nigga, I had to go back to Mark Twain. <laughs> Did you just use? Come on. You didn't think that was a good fuck? No, uh, come on. Get the fuck out of here. I'm racist like you. I read this in. <laughs> since I was a baby. They're changing it. They're changing it. We know. But what does that have to do with how. This is exactly <laughs> while trying to keep her father. Her, she's hunting down her father, trying to keep you didn't her. Say that. Well, big deal because I said she didn't cut Trying to learn the it. truth about her father. Yeah, that's what I said. Yeah, I know. She and that's okay, hunting. fine. That's okay, said, okay, watch. I'm not, right. not trying to find the yes, truth she about is. her father. She's her hunting father's a down drug dealing her drug asshole. Dealing father. Is he alive or is he dead? I don't want to uh, give you the ending. It, it, a big oh, deal. Please, so, don't. She, so I didn't say she's going through the, she's going through bushes in the mountains. <laughs> big deal. That's not the fucking plot. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking guys, you know. Dude, you, hey, wait, listen, you, wait a minute, no, you do no, it to no. yourself, Rich. What's Rich, that? But we that, did start this said, with saying I like five ten to Yumo. Let's not forget. Okay. Did you hear what he just said? What he just said something that in his in his like his the whole thing of his defense defending himself. 
He said a line in it that he threw away as if it was it, it was mediocre yeah. and it was irrelevant, but it made it... What, you want me to tell you that she's fucking running through the woods hunting down her dad? Yes! Yeah, why, yes. Why, why does it matter where she's... What does that matter? For me to go see the fucking movie, <laughs> you, don't have to, you have to go. It's, Rich, it's we, on video. Did you hear? I even said, I even said, it sounds like a chick flick. Right, right. the way not. you described it, it We know like it's not a chick, chick flick. Now we got the actual storyline. Like I'm, like, I'm only coming here from now on. It sounded like a fucking chick flick. No, like yeah. like no flick. just watch the movie. I was, I'm right. He killed the whole town. Who? Oh, uh, Aunt was telling about a movie. I forgot the name, but you was the guy. Oh shit, Lenny Marcus. The guy, the guy put. The oh guy, fucking that maniac guy! What? It's like Rampage. Is that Rampage. the name? It's called yeah. Rampage. I ran to get that movie that day as soon as I heard the description <laughs> so of the movie. Twisted. Like that was a great movie. Yes. Yeah, well, I want to see this critic. movie. We, he's not a movie critic. Yes, oh. he is. He's a guy who watches a movie that you think. No. I, wait, you think I should see the movie? Uh, you, not by what I, not by, not by my description. <laughs> and he just throws himself in the shitter. But see, that's, that's the last no, thing on. he does. That's yeah, the last. Yeah. What, yeah. What's up, that Ryan? One. That's there the. He is. That, How you doing? How you doing, man? In the end, that's what you do, Rich. What's that? You just give up and throw yourself in the shitter. What the fuck? Yeah. Just go see the movie. What the fuck? But we want to know why we should see the movie. And Cause fail miserably. Because I'll say it again. Because a lot of people are talking. And goes. Oh, that sounds like a chick flick, which makes people go, yeah, I ain't seeing that horse shit. Then we fucking see the real storyline and go, it seems like There's it's a really good down movie. Going okay, on. well, maybe you know what? I'm not a fucking movie critic. All it's time just, to you be a movie critic. critic. No, you just got to be able to describe huh? something. Winter's Bone, did you see it? Oh, no. Yeah. Oh, all right. Ryan started to see that. Nah, Black Swan. No, uh, no yeah, but I'm looking at that. Black Hippo now. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, damn. You know what You're getting, uh, he's uh, getting uh, desperate. He's going to the no, fat But yeah. that was fucking actually good. Yeah. Oh, thank you for but validating he it. Is, he is really... You're not even... Player. You're fucking... Thousand. <laughs> really? You went after how I talk and that... And really... Really? That's been done two million times. Really? Really? That's stock voice. Okay? okay. He's like stock Patrice. Yeah, he's... All right. So I, I, but when he does it, it's okay. Let me tell you something. You two are fucking. I defended yeah, you. Let me tell you something. You, you tried to. Because <laughs> I hate you and I don't want to hear it. <laughs> this, is, this is keeping the fucking sound out. He, does, done this he doesn't want to put a winter coat on, but you're going to put a headband on. Oh, let's find what's wrong with him for that. But why don't you just get Hold a little on this fucking garage band guys in here. Let him fucking sing his song. Oh, Jesus, whoever the fuck he is, I know he, he's probably voted for fucking Obama. You can tell he's got a rainbow decal. I'm sorry. I'm just. I got the same necklace. Oh, you do? I'm sorry. Oh, really? I'm not going to make fun of me. I'm sorry. See, you like your fellow Jew. I like a Jew like him because he's not a typical Jew. That's why I like him. <laughs> What's you got tattoos? Dude? Typical of tattoos. Oh, fuck. Hey, my tats? beard makes me look like a rabbi, no? Look at this. Huh? Yeah, I love no, my beard. It looks, beer, makes you look like a terrorist. <laughs> you got a little rabbi beard. It does, right? People, people think I look bit. like a... Ryan, Ryan, Borat, Ryan's been a... Uh, yeah. uh, he's been a friend of the show for a while. No, he's I got, know. He's got a new... He's fucking good. I listen to him all the time. You can beat him up. He understands that shit. But he, uh, he's, uh, he's going to, you know, uh, he's going to sing us out. In a minute. Uh, Brian, hey, are you going to be in Harrisburg? Not this weekend. Next weekend? Because I'm at the Comedy Zone. No, but I like Harrisburg. Been there. Mm. Yeah, I'm going to be at Webster Hall in New York City, though, January oh, 18th. Fuck. Yeah, That's he's, nice. He's Good. starting to fucking move, man. That's what I'm saying. Roland, he's, he's starting to move here. up the charts, right? Huh? here. You guys are like the first guys ever to have me on the air. I wouldn't yeah, put that on my resume. <laughs> <laughs> it, it did help Voss. I think we pretty much were the first kidding? radio show fucking, ever did. Are you kidding I just do this out of fucking dysfunction. <laughs> you know what? Uh, uh, before we uh, stop talking about movies, but we did already, but I don't care. No, let's keep uh, going. Uh, the, uh, I'm, I'll be thrown under the bus for this, but it was a funny fucking movie. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. If, oh, I know what he's going to say. Uh, it stunk. What? The one with fucking where they were cops. The, the other guys. Uh, you laughed at that? Yes, I did. Oh, I really hope I... your gun backfires. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I didn't see it. You like the other guys? I, I, I haven't seen it yet. You know what? Give us a, give us a fucking, fucking funny, funny. Something funny out of it. Now, no, listen really? how he explains why it was, it was funny, Rich. I you can learn something funny. today. You know why? Mark oh, Wahlberg, Mark he Wahlberg was funny. is almost doing a Dirk Diggler character in this fucking movie. And it's, uh, it's, it's the typical kind of cop movie with the, the hero cops. 
and then there's the guys in the background. This is the story about the guys in the background. So Sam Jackson and the and oh, the Rock. I see. I see. They're like the okay. hero. Cops. The concept is already interesting. Yeah, they, yeah. The, 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 We've all the seen cops. the cop. Mo- and then there's the smartest guys in the room. You know, in the in the detective. You know, the, 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 the squad. Oh, it's like Starsky and Hutch. You know, then it's the other dudes. It's the other guys. Um, Voss. Okay. You know said, no, no. I, I know you think I'm against you. No, yeah, really. But the, it, the already, are you thinking he's against Anthony? No, he's against me. He's doing this already with Anthony not, to make me look. Oh, like no, I don't think so. I'm yeah. telling you, I know already he's doing. the concept of that. Concept is. It's oh, really? interesting because they're different. talking about the dudes who aren't Starsky who aren't and Hutch. the guys. That's not right. funny to you already? That's not listen, interesting. Listen to me. This is what I'm held listening. the movie together. Okay. Mark Wahlberg was fucking he was his character was Very great funny, yeah. it you was said great you didn't like the movie uh, when no, I, it. I, you could still like a character or like you can, you don't have to like a movie to like uh, all right. now I'm not ca- going to see it good it's in the it's on video. Yo, I've listened to the show for years. I can't believe you guys aren't talking about Black Swan. That I thought would be the topic of conversation. Uh, right now. I didn't see it directly. Supposedly, Best. people are telling me to go see no. this fucking movie. It's going to be see this. It's a chick flick, isn't it? No, chick flick. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. So, some, some, some will say, oh, my God, I just watched a ballet movie. It's not a ballet movie. The best masturbation scene ever recorded on film in the history of Who's film. Who's doing it? Natalie Portman? Down Natalie Portman. Yeah, Natalie Portman. She's a hot. She and she's one of the tribes. Yeah, she's yeah, a queen yeah. of the Jews. Yeah. You're not going to ruin this. You're Jews. not going to ruin it for us. Uh, why no, does she make? Why does she go see it? But why does she make it the best uh, masturbation? It's scenario. incredible. Have I mean, because ever... she does things that you go. I didn't know they do it like that. You know, like well, you this just, guy. You know, what he's crazy. really focused because he don't watch porn. Because <laughs> have you ever? I, I, I saw a great me. masturbation I, scene I, in the. Have you? Have you ever? And she used that guitar you had. The other guys. Anthony, why was the so it's it's the story of the guys in the background. Yeah, yeah. Hey. And and they slowly, of course, you know, they got to go with the pat story of they get Eventually involved they in a heroes. big crime and they have to uh, deal with it. But um, Will Farrell is is funny in it, but he, you know, he's not a good cop. And it's them two kind of bumbling their way around. And uh, there's some there's some very funny uh, parts and funny lines. Can I have the copy? Wahlberg is. I uh, no, I think it's available on uh, on demand. Have you ever masturbated? Yeah. yeah. Have you ever masturbated you it and go like you get so excited when you're masturbating right before, <laughs> and you think to yourself, "All right, maybe I'll just taste a little of it right right before." But after you come, you go, "I can't do it." You know, have you ever tried? Have you ever no, thought about I mean, it? No, I really. You never, never thought I, just to I, see what it would I, taste I, like. No, no. no. Have you ever thought to, for real? I've Be never, for real. I've, I've gone. D- I've gone down on a girl after I've shot in her. <laughs> no, I've never done that. But but, uh, but, but, but but I wouldn't like stick my tongue way deep in. I just lick the clit. But you could still taste a little tang. There. No, but the, the the dirtiness of shooting a load on your stomach. You think? No, maybe I'm not going to shoot a load on my stomach and eat it. What the fuck? Well, I, mean, I, mean, I never have. I never have. But you never thought about it, and then no. you get. No. Oh, okay. <laughs> Voss has a minute never... number, <laughs> a very minute but... number of of shit he know about, <laughs> yeah. and he gonna segue I... into this. Well, he was talking about masturbating. No matter what, he's talking about masturbating. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Well, here's the thing. Career, well, the thing. Well, the thing. <laughs> My career is hey, great. Hey, hey, he fucking. Oh, here we go. And wait hit a some minute, more. though. It's not. I'm just saying. All right, doctor. We let's go. go from the highest levels of psych- psychologically profiling people. Mm-hmm. To just basic, hey, what you see at the movies? <laughs> and he can't even say what he saw at the fucking <laughs> movies. If we really did run the gamut of, of <laughs> intellectual talk to, to just You nothing, think he comes in here just, I taste my shit. cum. And he had to throw like, in, I taste my it. cum. I got to talk about hold on. You think he comes in with just five things he wants to get That's out? I, three, and he just three. waits I and impl- waits. I implore you. To go through Voss's file. He was in a hotel. And see if he talks about anything other than five subjects. (laughs) Don't run, bitch. Sit down. I'm standing, ho. And Rich, Sit down. I'm Rich, you are you are you are great on this show, but I'm never able to explain why you're great to anybody. Wow. I'll say it. Oh, really? Like how a, about how I, about the time when no, you're a true not, Brit of comedians? You, can, yes, you yes. can't just break it down. <laughs> you can't break, hold on, hold on. You can't break it down. <laughs> yeah, but, you, can't, you can't break it down to people and go because he's really funny. It's way more than that with you and this show. You're funny, absolutely. Okay. But the reason the you're great line. on this show, I can't explain to anybody. They have to hear it for themselves. I'll tell you why. 
and I've never said this. Voss is truly dumb. <laughs> <laughs> All right, there you go. I didn't it just explained today. it. <laughs> it's honest dumb. That is honest. It's he is real. As on, he's as it's real dumb as you fucking can get. I got more money than you. I don't know that. I do. Brad Axelrod didn't tell me that. Oh, oh shit. shit. Because he doesn't Back take your Brad. calls. <laughs> I don't take Brad Axelrod. You just work for him. Shut up. I didn't take his calls. You just work for him. <laughs> and even though he's been around for whatever years, he's there's an innocence to him. It is. Rich has an innocence. But a mean, and he's like. How is that possible? With he's all like, the shit a, you've he's been like a retard with a knife. Like, he'll just say some shit like, I got more money than you. Like, I don't, I don't. That's just like a retarded man taking a swing with a knife. <laughs> I'm going to see the other guys. I saw the social network over the weekend. See Winter's Bone. Oh, oh is that the social network? Loved it. Can I have it? Can I borrow it? Are you Come sure on, it's not please. Summer's Bone? Okay, Let's go. make sure that it's the right uh, Summer's Bone. It comes out tomorrow. Because somebody's out there looking for five ten to, <laughs> to, 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 <laughs> to candy yams. <laughs> he said five ten to you. Seven eleven to Yahtzee. Yeah. <laughs> I think we're done. Uh, but we do have Ryan Starr. I'm sorry. It's been a crazy day. I love it. Right, so love what, it. what have you been up to really quickly there, Ryan? been uh, touring my ass off since... Are you, uh, are you starting to make it? Because I don't know. This guy Roland, does fucking you know, tons this of No, well, Roland says you are. I yeah, man. No, no. Yeah, you're right. you're moving up the charts. I'm top 20 on radio right now. You, yeah, you can play a second of it, man. Start a fire. It's no, called. You know what I'll do for That's you? That's the new song. Top 20 on regular radio. Then... I want you to play yeah, yeah. Yeah. I want you to play some live, and then we'll end with uh, right, right, what's perfect. moving up the charts. This, uh, this but no, no. Hold might... on. Uh, we'll get... Yeah, I was going to tell you. a minute. I was going to tell you about the song, man. But, but you got a CD out? I do. It's called 1159. Came out a Too few yummy. months back. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> it came out uh, a few months back, and uh, it's been torn my butt off, man. And, you uh, married, dude? I am. Yeah. What? Yeah. Oh. Interesting. Lots changed. Took yourself Lots off changed. the market there, huh? Did you get married before the fame? Uh, it's a continuous. Uh, oh, you know, a Jewish up. girl or a non Jew? Girl, Long Island girl, man. From the hood. Oh, You're oh, lucky, what, man. Wait, what, what town? Uh oh. Where I grew up, Huntington. Oh, yeah, that's oh, okay. Right. <laughs> I thought you were going to say Bay Shore. Is it racist right? over there? Top of the town. Well, racist yeah. over there? Uh, the one on the expressway uh, chops long. There's racist. It's, 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 yeah. it's a yeah, racist. It's a racist. It's a racist. It's a racist. Yeah. <laughs> but no, seriously, man, we had a, we had a song uh, on VH1. It was on the top 20 on VH1 for a while. A song called Breathe that. Uh, actually, it was a very New York video. We got right. real unemployed people to uh, be in the video and you try getting them work by setting up a website for them. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> you know, you know, it's, it's funny. It's just, uh, I get out there and I see so much, so many people using the, using these opportunities for such, you know, nonsense that it was nice to be able to do something positive. It's, I like the nonsense funny. myself. But now yeah. it's, yeah. Now Why should he waste yeah. all this horse shit on marriage? Yeah. You know how much <laughs> fucking spiritual pussy this guy could get? Spiritual pussy. <laughs> fucking from bitches, like, oh, tell me that. bitches yeah, with man. fur hats and fucking, <laughs> yum, 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 they mock. Bunch of Buddhist pussy, you know how much Buddhist pussy is fucking full of shit, motherfucker. The Jewish Billy Jack. <laughs> <laughs> this motherfucker. <laughs> God damn, I'm jealous of this guy. All right, fucking let's hear this is, music, man. This is going somewhere, not just on my stomach. You God know what damn it, mean? son of a bitch. I right. just smashed you. Huh? He just smashed no, me. No, he's smashed talking to you. you. Oh, he just oh, smashed oh, me. God. Fucking boss, man. You thought he was smashing Patrice and he was smashing he, you. He's basically, he's not a smasher. No. Even if he was, he's saying, hey, I love my wife and at least it's not going to bullshit. He goes, my cum, <laughs> my cum is oh, going it's, inside it's, and not on my stomach. He meant it's, it was cum. Because you were oh, eating your own cum, <laughs> you cum eater. <laughs> Now, Ryan Star, why don't you play a song? So, so this song is called Brandy Day, and it's uh, it's actually the theme song to a show called Lie to Me. On yeah, Fox. Fox. I don't know if you've seen that yet. Oh, so. okay. Very cool. Ryan Star, you do you that one? You have a thing, Lie to Me? Lie to Me, man. With uh, Tim. Tim Roth. Damn, Damn, Ryan Star. Oh, shit. That's talent because Jesus. you're singing that to dudes. <laughs> I know. What the hell are you so doing? awkward for all of us. Like but... 10 in the morning also. Yeah. Jesus Christ. How do you show passion like that in front of dudes? <laughs> That's why he's fucking. He pays no attention to dudes. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. He just closes his eyes. I and just fucking does it. I, I, I take the dude seriously all weekend. I was ESPN, all the ESPN stuff. They've been playing some of my tunes there too. Jesus and it's uh. So, so yeah. you try to get the dudes, try to get the girls, and you try to get the grandmas. It's See, perfect yeah, equation. No shit. That's original shit there. I had some Long Island shit you've been doing. Okay, that's fucking some <laughs> real deal. <laughs> Long Island shit that I've been uh, doing. You know, whatever you do, you get on stage with your cowbell or whatever the fuck you do. Okay, go fuck yourself. 
Yeah. That was real. That was real. Like, Why do you take a shot? He just, he has and to do you really hate me? I'm no, not at all. Okay. I just got the best tweet out of all of them today. Did you tweet me? No, well, this guy. That Ryan Stark, come on. This fucking guy, when the, a black dude was beating his kid, I go, his pants are down. The guy goes, that's because his belt is off beating the kid. Get it? Anyhow, what I'm saying is, it was a good tweet. It was a good tweet. That's some crazy tweet. Wait, was that your tweet? No, crazy. some guy sent it to me. It was funny, like though. <laughs> Brian Star, guy, what are you on Twitter? Is at Ryan Star. At Ryan one, Star. One R, by the way, S T A R. And uh, okay. it's, so you should see the difference in my Twitters to his Twitters. That's really some crazy. Even, even mm. guys that are the nicest guys want to come in and fuck with me. I'm telling them how great he is. No, I'm not, I'm not saying anything not, about you. He's I'm just, not. not I'm saying the truth. You, you always think it's so wow. about you. I feel like he's I'm, saying look that look his I'm, tweets are fucked. He your doesn't necklace. have shitty tweets. He has guy. He has people only oh. do supportive tweets. To, is what he's saying. What I'm saying you, is, I love. Foss his feels music. like he's being burnt by a, a I, crack I feel pipe like, all the time. Yeah. I can't. I, 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 I'm so fucking numb. I can't well, even hear right? what people are saying. No, <laughs> you're no, not. Right. I'm not. No, sit next to him you for to... fucking three hours. You, no. man. you know what? Yeah, yeah. Listen, victim. What? He's Mr. Victim. I'm not a victim. From now on, you can only come ever. in when he's here because you guys haven't been together in a while. We haven't I know been that. together. Bobby is so much great. easier. It was great right here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got to get out of here. Uh, Rich, where are you going to be? I'm going to uh, play uh, another one from Ryan as we uh, leave. But. I'll be in uh, uh, Rhode Island this weekend, catch Rise Star, Harrisburg next week in the Comedy Zone. But more important, he'll be at Webster Hall, and you'll see some real good shit from him. You're coming, right? Uh, on my stomach. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. I didn't even set that up. Oh, was, you guys are the 2011 Abbott and Costello. <laughs> okay. and then, hold on. Stinky wants to oh, say something. Jesus Christ. <laughs> what comedian did you say he looks like? No, Stinky was the other one. I know. No, I know. Oh, but the oh, line, I, I kind of like that line. That's all. Oh, good. I get to believe on I like the line. Well, because I know I don't feel like getting a phone call from you later. Oh, really? So I'll do it now. Oh, no, that was really good. You did that. <laughs> Patrice, no. <laughs> no phone calls today. You it's did great. Tough, I'll say it live in front of everyone. You, you wasn't, great. Ma you wasn't mad classic. at me when I said that thing, when I said it, even though Obi had called retarded for an hour and a half of the show. <laughs> you deserve what you did, bro. You deserve it. You deserve it, man. I'm on your side, dude. I'm telling you, I'm out of retirement now. All right. <laughs> Patrice is out of retirement. Because I'm going to fucking make it for Patrice, balls. are you promoting anything? Big I got prods. February 19th, my special comes out. I was at the taping, and this thing's going to do really well, man. I'm telling you. And then you get the DVD out with all the other DVD stuff. DVD comes right at, with uh, 45 minutes of content, no, some extra no. this, some extra that. And oh, they're yeah, going yeah, yeah, yeah. to put my first special in there, too, as a little bonus. Yeah, the first cool. one they did in, I did in like 2001. You get a little taste of that? A little bit. A taste? Nah, and they bought me like a goddamn... <laughs> they bought shit. me for pennies on the dollar, nigga. They gonna That's make... It. <laughs> somebody they gonna, gonna make buy money. some... Cow. I hope so. Look, I'll trade in being able to fill up Albany fucking <laughs> Philharmonic with their three seats. If I go to Albany, I just want to get some people to come to see me if I'm going to Albany. <laughs> yeah. That's it. So yeah. Comedy Eccentric can keep the change, nigga. As long as they fucking you know, promotion, do yeah. something. You know what I'm saying? All so right. that's it. And uh, Ryan... Um, you want me to just play the disc? Yeah, man. Get play. easy for you this today. This new song, Start a Fire. Start a Fire. And, and how uh, do they get this? How do who get what? I'm trying to promote you. How do who oh, the get people. What? The yeah. people. <laughs> my friends the out there. Fans? It's uh, it's on my album. My album's called 1159. It's on iTunes and stores now. Right. And uh, I promise you, uh, my man over here, give you a money back guarantee if you don't like it. I promise you like like the album. All right, good. Ryan Starr. And uh, Webster Hall, January 18th. Fucking just blowing up right in front of our eyes. We'll play this and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Shit, man. That made me like music again.